Welcome to this episode of Intelligence Check. I am Adam, and I am going to be the DM for this session. This will probably be our third recording, third or fourth recording that's going up, so this will be the last time that we will introduce ourselves. Uh, we will also have the character bios uh, probably up by this time that we have, so everybody should know everybody's characters, and if not, you can always go back to the previous episode. So, we'll start in the order that we always have. Hi, I'm Damien, and I'll be playing Saber, the Tabaxi Rogue. Hello, I'm Dylan, and you're playing Maximus, the Arcane Warrior. We'll get to that in a second. I'm Derek, I play the Human Sorcerer, Victor. I'm Noah, I play Tsuraki, Human Monk, I'm also, uh... Taking over, taking over for Kenny purely for uh, mechanical purposes. He can't be, he, he can't be playing for us right now. In extension to that, I do want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers of all of us, and to any of those out there who are currently watching. The reason that we are down Kenny for today is because he is spending time with his wife. So he will be back next session, but we are giving him a good comeuppance in order for him to, in order to make his wife have a good Mother's Day. Other than that, I don't think we have any notifications that we really need to say. So, if everybody's ready, let's get back into this session. So, last time, you guys have went into the city of Rorikstein in order to find out information about the missing family brooch. In doing so, you have gone into an underground fighting arena, which led you to the underground black market. Upon asking around and buying various magical items for yourselves, you found out that the item in question was retrieved by the Silver Leaf. But unfortunately, the whereabouts and the information of the buyer is unknown. And due to a little bit of a come uh, comeuppance, you ended up making a bargain with them. That you would do a deal for them, and then they would do a deal for you. The deal that they want you to get is an item that would apparently transmit dimensions and the only way to get said item is to go to a mysterious and cursed uh, castle that had not been touched almost in the past century so you party has taken four days worth of travel you're probably a half day of travel outside until you get to these uh, in order to get to the castle so what are your plans for the morning of the fifth day day before you begin traveling the new. Do we see the town? Off in the distance, you just see rather good vegetation for probably a good five, uh, four, five miles out, but you see kind of off in the distance just very rustic and dead vegetation very off southward. Is there a pathway in front of us, or do we have to get off the wagon? It's you're you've been in the forest for probably a day now, but it's not it's not dense forest area where you see only a tree every few fifty hundred feet. So you don't have to weave in and out or anything. But you you've you, normally you've seen some deer, some wolves. You've done some hunting in order to restock on food and whatnot. And you've been past a river or two to resupply your water. From your travel down southward, you expect that within that half day worth of travel, you're probably not going to need to go on any major roads, or you're not going to go over hills or anything that would deter you from having to get off the cart. And I say we go forward. Mm -hmm. All in the grants. If, if there's nothing to do, may as well continue. I'm going to... Yes? No, I was just saying, I'm the grants. Uh, I'm going to ride towards one of the ominous looking patch of Plants that are dead. What a great idea. <laughs> oh boy. Generally, you only see one direction because it's, from your perspective, because you're a little bit up hillwards, it does go downwards towards the ending of the peninsula. Uh, you do see it in an oblong egg oval shape with the top of the egg facing in your direction sort of thing. So you think the lower clustered area would probably be where the town would be because you knew the town was north of it. Whereas in, like, the major circumference area would be where the castle would be laid. Let's go towards the lower. Alright, so you yep. you head out probably, you start at a good 6 o'clock, getting around 
after eating breakfast and probably lunch, it's about two to three o'clock in the afternoon, when the first thing that you notice is a weird rapid transition from vegetation to devastation. It's only about a good few hundred feet out. Do you see fully grown oak trees to pseudo desolate wasteland trees that are probably about to break at any given moment. It's it's not a gradual transition, it's just like this place is living, this place is dead. It's it has like a it you believe that actually whatever effect is on this land has an actual range and it almost came to just an abrupt stop. Is it something you can feel in the air, or do we each feel it's, mostly the same? You you feel the same. Probably, because nobody's really been in contact with this area for almost the past century, you feel like if it had an aura bubble to it, it would probably be something over time that these plants have been affected over the past century. Whereas in you guys, getting just immediately into it, you might feel like, a chill in the air, but it's not like your it's not like your skin's pulsing or anything like that. So you continue riding southward. Everyone in a grand yes. southward. Well, on a lookout for the town. Yeah. All right, it takes you. It does take you about another hour or so to you hit anything that resembles anything of non-dead vegetation, and there is a rustic old village that has become a desolate wasteland, abandoned by time. I'm giving, I'm giving time for that to be cut out. I apologize. <laughs> transition, transition. Gotta, gotta go through the transitions. Gotta figure out the problem in I will, I will, I will restart it in a second, all right? Three. This rustic old village has become a desolate wasteland, abandoned by time. Skeletons litter the streets while buildings are held aloft by singular beams that could be taken uh, that could be taken by a strong wind. The air around here is dense with a glooming overhang. The forestry around the village seems to be void of vegetation and about to turn to dust. There seems to have gathered a heavy fog around the surrounding area from the direction that you came from. So, imagine the wild wild west but more purple than brown dusty and it is almost littered with different sizes of humanoid skeletons from full-on adults to children and anything like that you also do notice in the air there is a constant hue of purple and red you no longer actually see the sun can i make an arcane check you can Specifically arcane on it. Okay. Uh, that would be a 16. There's some dark shit going around, but this is not something that you've read in books. You do know that this is an aftermath from the old, uh, from the Great War, but not what would not something that would specifically linger for this long after the wars happened. So, I was correct. This is remnants of the old war. But something is keeping it like this. Because mm. it would not last naturally mm. for this long. Mm. I advise we don't touch any of the dead bodies. Mm. We saw what happened last time. Perhaps it would be best to avoid the village entirely. Well, there might be stuff inside. Eh. Well, keep, a, keep an eye out. If percep perception for anything that moves. Alright, you guys going down the center? Because, as I said, it's I'm like gonna, a Wild West where it's like just two rows of buildings. I'm gonna, Maybe I'm, a little bit of a swerve inside. Hmm. You are, can roll are there any cool house... I'm sorry, I was trying to figure out how to word it. Are there any, like, intact houses? They are intact. But from your perception of right now, it seems to be all of them are void of light and almost void of all, like furnishings on the inside. They, keep, they they seem to be almost just there for show because from the doorways and the open windows, you don't see much of furniture or anything I'm like that. going to just stop the carts. Alright. And what did you roll? 15. Alright. You, you don't feel a sense of wind. There, there, is, there is no breeze. The, like, the clouds that are in the sky are just 
over or, or ever looming, but you do you do get a sense like there is a slight fickle of your hair that goes across. I'd much rather not linger. Um, this place seems too I unnatural. I noticed something very unsettling. The houses are empty and open. Yes, but very astute. Is the castle? F do I see the castle from here? You do see an overarching dark figure of a structure down southwards. Can we go around the town, or is going through it the quickest way? I mean, we're already how much in? You're probably a good hundred feet into the town, and it seems like the fog has an onset circumference around the town itself, except for the southwards direction. Of course. Do, you want to, do we want to go as fast as we can forward, or take it easy? Ah, uh, no reason to linger. It's, you you no, do no all collectively hear a small bit of Skeletons. You okay? The cart, the cart in front of you, or not uh, in front of the cart. There are probably a good two or three skeletons. Yeah. That start now facing their heads in your direction. Okay. Before anything else happens, I'm putting on my ring of protection. All right. Oh. Are you are you activating the ring of protection? No, I'm just putting. Oh, no. Because activating it would start its. Uh, would start its cycle of one to uh, one to four days, depending on your and, dice roll. And okay. you said we're a half a day away from the castle. You're probably anywhere between six, I or three to six hours. Not even half a day. All right, I'll hold off on it. All right. Can I just yip yip and go straight forward as fast as we can, or are the animals too scared? Um, you're gonna have to roll handle animal on that. Uh, mind if I help you uh, on that? Go ahead. It would be just you because you're the one with the reins. Okay. Mm. None of us even have an Remember, animal. Remember, you're yeah. their favorite. <laughs> I can't get Minimus to help. Technically, on this I think all, technically I think also it's their favorites. Not funny. Ooh! Well, I mean, all right. So moose, you do you do manage Two to rein and the... a giant moose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you do you just want to plow through? I just want to plow through these fucking skeletons. Um. So, oh my God, that's not gonna like, end well. I I would ask you guys yeah. uh, to hold on. Yeah. Hold on, because he rolled a natural twenty. So I want you guys to roll an acrobatics check. Oh my acrobatics. God, acrobatics! Hold on, I got acrobatics this. Acrobatics or athletics, whichever one you choose. Like athletics right, is that. is <laughs> holding on. Acrobatics is being steady. No, not right, athletics. I got athletics, it. Please. I'm going athletics. All right, and I got twenty-one. Twenty-one. Thirteen. Um, I'm not gonna make you roll for Oscar. Yeah, you you all you all steadily ha handle on, uh, ha hang on, <laughs> and you give a good <laughs> whip of the reins, and you start plowing through. You hear shattering of bones, <laughs> and <laughs> I think those skeletons just took damage. A little bit. One of the one of the heads actually falls into the cart. <laughs> I take it. I just grab it. You you grab it, and it says, "What you do that for?" What? <laughs> oh, sorry, mister. We got a little startled. We, we don't have... Any Is it talking? You, you... We startled you. You startled us. I, is it nice? I, I like my body back. I'm asking, nice. is it nice? Guys, stop the cart. I stop. All right. And then the brush stop. All of you, like, almost jerked for it off. The moose and the horse are just, like, you told us to go. Why are we stopping? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I look behind us. How are those skeletons looking? Uh, the others, they're just, like, scattered about. But you start seeing, like, a hand try and crawl closer to the other. The head trying to reattach, like, push itself back onto the body and whatnot. And you do see, collectively, like, all... You, you only made it, like, a good two, three hundred feet out. You do see all the other skeletons get up and start walking to the center. But you see, like... You, you do recognize as much as you probably would, um, like, females with the wider hips, you do see them carry, like, smaller ones. Oh, my and, God. And, like, older older ones <laughs> walking with canes and whatnot. And you a collective community walking to the center. <laughs> and all, lost my and all <laughs> give you, like, bewildering looks of, like, what's that? And, like, I just want to note, last time a skeleton moved, it almost killed us all, if you remember. That Guys, I is think fair. The one, speech. the one. This is the one in your hands. Yes. Um, yeah, I would greatly appreciate it if I had my body. Oh right, where, 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 um, can 
I do. Um, I see where I look for the body. I look for the body. Yeah, you don't know which out. one is his with all the things that had been scattered. Can I do a perception check? Well, you, 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 you can see that there are three amalgamations of bodies behind you. You don't know which one's which. Let's search I around. We owe the things I'm that much. Sure where it is. I, just, just bring me back over there, if you don't mind. Alright, I get off the cart and I go over to the pile of bones. I follow All right. him. Yeah, the, the, I, the others have collected themselves, so now the only remaining body that doesn't have a head is, is being uh, 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 hoisted by the other two skeletons, so they're kind of holding it for you to put the head back on. Noticing a pat. I, I, I put it back on. Alright. I, 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 I give a bell. I, we are terribly sorry. We, undead are... They usually try to kill us. Oh, there's a doorbell. Oh. Mm. Oh, well. You guys look alive. I, is that very Brand uncommon new. for you? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> we don't have too many visitors here. We actually have had a few in the past. There, um, there was a group of... Did they have little silver leaves on their cloaks? There was that group. There was like about five or six of those guys. Now, I, I do apologize. We have been like this for... hundred or so years? I, I don't know. Because the thing is, we don't need to eat. We don't need to sleep. We just lay on the ground until something happens. So... That group could have come by yesterday, they could have come by 50 years ago. We're not entirely sure. Um, but there was that group. Um, there was also a big soldier armored knight looking fellow. It's kind of weird. What did his shield look like? Uh, he didn't have a shield. No shield. Oh. No, he, he had like a full set of like blue glowing armor and some weird writing on him. I'm not sure I'm a simple farmer, or, or I think I was. I'm, I'm not entirely I, I don't even remember my own name. Oh, this place is in a terrible state. It's cursed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's there was... the dragon, probably. Oh, I, I don't even remember a dragon sighting. All I know is that we've we've been affected for a while, and unfortunately, every so often, one of our village members just... Something comes over their head and they just start walking up the castle. Like, we, we try and stay away from there, because the closer you are, the, the more... <laughs> but it, the longer we linger here, the more we get affected. You guys you guys won't be affected. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's, it happens over a long period of time. As long as you can tell, anyway. Yeah, we've actually had other people like you who've, who've gone up there, but they just haven't come back. Well, we're heading up there. That's for <laughs> Best, best of luck to you. I mean, you, you wouldn't be here anywhere else, would you? I mean, unless you just got caught in the mist. How no. How of you are there, exactly? Well, we used to be a thriving village of 200, but we've got, like, only about a good 50 or some left. I'm going to go pet the animals. Oh, oh, are, there, are there animal skeletons? No, 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 no like, the, the two horses. Oh, the two horses with the moves. I'm like, I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to go into the Like, we turn around, uh, they're instantly skeletons. Like, well, that, that cursor kicked oh, in quickly. Oh, no. Uh, the day of the dead movie. No, no. Uh, see, nothing happens around here. They're, they, they, they took all of our tools, so we can't build anything. There's no crops to make. There's no animals what, to feed. Excuse me, who took your tools? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know who works up there, but there, there's these two big rock people who, very, very long time ago, when we were still human, they, they took all of our metal tools and they took all of our equipment and right. we just at, had at the sound of rock people. I stop. Go. Were they living rocks or were they people in stone armor? It was so long ago. I, it could have been rocks. It could have been people in armor. I don't entirely remember. I just remember they didn't have skin. This? We're going to the castle. I mean, of course. <laughs> no, <laughs> you uh, can't go anywhere else unless you yeah. want to stay here. I, have you tried to leave? I look backwards. We have. Towards the mist. We have. And uh, you just keep walking forward and somehow you've turned 180. Minimus, can you try really quick? Thank you, Minimus. 
Well then, seems the castle really is our only option. This um, is a could I trust you all to... How, how far away is the castle? Um, if, if with your horse is probably two, three hour ride and you keep at a steady pace. <laughs> kind of like you did over us. Okay. Well, I'm sorry for running you over. Usually undead try to kill us. He starts to say something, and immediately in the direction of the castle, you see a beaming purple pulse of energy just go up into the air and dissipate. Just almost instantaneous. <laughs> well, I can tell you two things. It's magical, and it's not good. I don't, I don't even need to roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that means that there's someone active in that castle. What do you I'm... think is keep... So here... We're going to go to that castle, and one of two things is going to happen. We're either going to die horribly, and you're going to keep being cursed. Or, Probably. we're going to dispel the curse, and you'll rest in peace. Uh, rest in peace, revert back to normal, and anything's good with us? Yeah. So, please keep us in your minds, and hope we don't die. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You wouldn't have enough to have anything to help us prepare for our adventure in the castle, would you? They took everything from us. We have barely even tables left. They took out most of the nails. A lot of our metal figures are gone, unfortunately. Do you want some tools? tools? We wouldn't do anything with them. We've got no material. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and... Not that I think anything would grow here if they tried. No. <laughs> You're telling us. We, as soon as you guys leave, we're probably just going to fall asleep. Aww. Even though we can't fall asleep, so... Um, I'm going to just head back to carriage and prep my backpack. Because I have one of those. I'm going to get the grappling hook in it. Water. Basically, I'm getting ready to go into a dungeon and get ready to jump off this thing in a hurry. Got it. I'm packing my stuff. Alright. Alright. Uh, I mean, best of luck with you. Break the leg. Ha ha ha. I laugh. <laughs> hey, comedy's the only thing we've got around here, okay? You're yeah. pretty good at it. Come on, you haven't got the guts to laugh at them? Uh. <laughs> <sighs> well, they certainly don't. That was the joke. Okay, guys, let's. Would, we're going. Uh, we're going. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna venture down southward yep. some more. I apologize once again for your fates. I oh. prepared to. It's it's not like you guys could have done anything. We might be able to. Hopefully. I'm, well, in the future. I'm ready to jump off this cart if anything bad happens in an instant. All right. So you're gonna travel down southward. Yeah. Nope. All right. So you do take the two to three hours. It's just you don't see any owls, but you get a sense that. Something's watching you. Something in an eerie sense, like bats, owls, wolves. But you don't see any wildlife throughout this area. <coughs> oh boy, guys! My favorite. It may be a long shot, but the other glove, its owner, was last seen um, near rock golems. So, quite a long shot, but it sounds like there's golems up there. Well, keep your eyes open for a nice little glove. Well, I, I will. To know anything to defend against rock golems. Yeah. Let me see. What check do I make? That would be a history? knowledge, which would probably be history. <coughs> and for goals? Oof. Oof. Those are those are arcane. True. Arcane or history? Arcane. No, keep that roll. Um, uh, eleven. <laughs> I mean, golems are a construct between a trapped soul and wooden and um, man-made construction, but you're not entirely sure how long it's how long it can be bound onto, how powerful it is, and can I make a deduction that maybe necrotic would work because it's a soul? You can make a deduction, sure. Oh, damn it! He's not gonna... You're not getting a natural twenty this time. Well, I'm just I'm thinking, would necrotic work against a soul? Sure, trial and error. <laughs> or, as they do say, you can certainly try. Well, they're made of rock, I wouldn't just hit it with a sword. Alright, so, after your three hours worth of travel, you do approach the castle, mm -hmm. and it has seen better days. The surrounding moat is... Is oh. the fog falling behind us? No. Okay, it, it's concept, it is. Though. It is it not keep, enclosed on you. It, keeps, it is. It, keeps it is town. that egg-shaped pattern that you saw when you were off in the distance. Hmm. Uh, the castle has seen better days. The surrounding moat is laid waste with a wa laid waste with a vile black liquid that circumvents its outskirts. There is a drawbridge that is down, 
but there is a gaping hole in the side where its integrity seems to be shady at best. There seems to be four inlaid towers that overview the grounds, but there is one pillar that has collapsed and has taken out part of the northern section. There is no noise coming from the castle, but there is a sense of foreboding, uh, foreboding lingering in the air. The castle is also wrapped in vegetation that uh, goes all the way up to the third floor of the castle, over the walls. The gate to the entrance is down, but it seems to be in shabby condition. The vegetation in state is black and laid, and seems to be pseudo-bubbling. The, the, the vegetation itself? The vegetation is black, and it seems to be like... Are we near any of that, or is that on the uh, other side? That's on the other side of the moon. Okay. Like, there, there's the castle, the bridge is down, but there's a big hole in it. You're on this side, castle's on the other. I wouldn't even risk Do we have any empty would, vials in the cart from old health potions? You guys haven't drank any old health potions recently, so I'd probably say no. And you probably wouldn't keep them on your five days' worth of travel. Okay. Um, give me a second to look. I'm going to bring... You guys can talk and think. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm looking through my I, bag. Oh, I wouldn't even risk trying to get the carriage across that. It's no, we're not. We're getting off. I mean, it's a castle. Why would you bring the carriage into the castle? I'm gonna... I'm it is... The, the drawbridge is um, 30 feet wide. So it, it, it you would suspect in its normal time it would be able to carry such, but it does have a gaping hole in the side of it. No, a dungeon mm -hmm. gears packed. Does it come with any jars? Engineers. It does not. I don't think so. That's it comes with water skin at best. Al uh, the, vial, the vials you're thinking are more like alchemist kits. Hey, Victor. You got some jars of dirt before, didn't you? <laughs> didn't we omit that part? Mm. I would say you would still have it. Mm, I do. Can I have one of those jars? I only have one jar. He only has one jar because one jar was sustainable enough for multiple roots that he bought. But I got a refund on those because... Yeah, you did. You, you just have them now. You so, just have it. I just give them the jar of dirt, then. All right. Thank you. I have a jar of dirt. Now I'm going to empty out half the dirt. All right. Just, like, leave a little bit of dirt in there. Fresh vegetation that lays on the ground that has not been there for almost a century. Or not vegetation. Uh, fresh soil. Close it up. All put right. it in my backpack. Get it off. Animals, stay put. We'll be back if we're not back. They're kind of like shimmying side to side. I'm just like, it is not smelling good here. Uh, should we perhaps leave them a little bit further back? You can't take them a bit back. I'm going to examine the bridge. I, we did not. Oscar will do it. Oscar will take them a bit Oscar back. Oscar will take care of his moose and he will take care of the horses and leave it back. Okay, so, so I go up to the bridge. Stay behind while we go in? No, no, no he, he's going to leave them back a little bit, probably tie them to a tree or whatever that he could. Before, before right. you even approach that, stuff. Perhaps we should make sure the bridge is sturdy. I'm going to the bridge. Okay. I, I was going to assist you. Okay. I'm not crossing the bridge yet. <laughs> I'm gonna... What, what specifically are you trying to look for? How far, long, far across is the bridge? Uh, so the bridge, the moat itself is 60 feet across. I cannot mold earth that. <laughs> it, it gives, it gives like an almost full-on circumference, but it's only probably about 20 feet deep, and the moat itself is uh, 10 feet across. Is the, the moat is the same color as the plants? Uh, that's a little bit darker. We're not touching that stuff. I'm going that doesn't seem to be bubbling over. It's only the vegetation that's bubbling. I'm going to take a step on the bridge, just one step. Actually, tying a rope around myself, giving one end to you, enough so if I do fall, I do not hit the bottom. Right. I'm going to grab the rope and tie that onto like, a nearby tree or something. All right. I was just it's to... 50 feet, so you, well, you have so enough height. the trees are about to turn to dust. I'm, I'm trusting well, you okay. guys to hold How sturdy are the trees? You can test it. Yeah, it I... It's fine. You guys can just All hold right. it. All right. As I'm just He's taking... not fat. I am taking two steps He's onto the bridge. Seems steady. Give me a little bit of length. All right. <laughs> okay. Feet two more steps. Steady. Okay. Uh, back off. I didn't fall through. I'm gonna get the rope. Yeah. And... So, so imagine uh, an entire rectangle. Yeah. And the hole on one side 
is cut halfway through. So you still have a good 15 foot on one oh. side. It's it's not like a hole that cuts through the entire Shit. thing. I just got a brilliant idea, but I have no clue if it'll work. Could I mold earth a pillar up to help support it? Uh, How far up can your pillar go? Two blocks of five feet, so that's ten feet tall. Remember, it's twenty feet down. Could I bring it out from the side? That that's angle. an angle, so that'd be fifteen feet. So just you don't you don't need just to fix a little it. something extra. It seems just that it would seem sturdy then. Wait, unless you only do like the five foot block and it extends from like the very base. But if it's a five foot plus five foot, that's ten feet. No, I'm talking from the side. The it's it's right in the center of the bridge, and it. The bridge is 60 feet long, so at most you get 10 feet in, you still got a good 10 feet until you actually hit the hole. How about the opposite side? Because I have a 60 it's foot It's right in the center. Oh. Never mind. Uh, my my engineering didn't work there. I'm going to... Do I have my rope back? It's all back in my backpack. I'm ready. Yeah. Looks good. I'm going across. Uh, um, and I follow hey, suit. Minimus, if this thing breaks, cast fly on me. Alright. I'm walking across. You make it steadily across the bridge. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I figured that was how it was going uh, down. But I didn't want to say anything to destroy <laughs> the little... Guys, get off! Come on! I know, I, was, I already said I'm falling. Alright, so yep. you're going... Yep. On the, on the off chance that, that it breaks under, under Oscar's armor, I'd recommend having your fairy focus on him next. He, she only gets one spell a day. I, I think a rope will do. <laughs> no, no. If he, if he falls, cast... How generous of you. Just fly if Oscar falls. Alright. He goes across with no problem. <laughs> Thank God! Okay, I'm gonna go up to the I plant. Nope. You worry. Moving on. Alright, so you all make it steadily across. Mm -hmm. There is vegetation um, that go across and reach to the top ends of the castle. And the gate is currently down, but it seems to be in pseudo disrepair. Um... Victor, can I borrow one of your the knives? Gate, the gate's down, you said? The gate is down. Uh, sure. Here. But, but a lot of the wood and, like, a lot of the metal is rusted, and a lot of the wood is severely splintered and cracked. I'm going to use not my magic gauntlet, but my normal ga half-plate gauntlet. Got it. And I'm cutting off a piece of the plant. All right. Opening the jar, putting it in the jar. All right. Closing um, the jar. You, your gauntlet has, like, a smear of tar over. Rub it off on the ground. Yeah, press the right. vegetation. Yep. Does he? <laughs> he does. Yeah, you kept Presta, right? Yes. Yeah. Presta, Presta, Presta. Oh, it seems to be clean. Give me back my dagger. <laughs> Here you go. I Thank couldn't you. cut it with. I needed something to cut it. Wait, I mean, you could have used your sword. Wait, is oh. the knife smeared with tar? Yeah, from the part that he cut it. Can you please clean it? Uh, All right. Thank you. Knife is clean, and there is a little bit of black sludge that's on the ground from where you wiped it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, fine. Um, I forgot I had that, sorry. everything, leave no traces behind. Yes. So did he cut a hole big enough for us to go through, or did he just cut Oh, no, no, I didn't, it, was it was just the vines that were climbing up this on the wrong side of the wall. This is to show to some people when we get back. It's cool examples. You, know. um, you do notice, like, after you pop it, presta, presta, the two halves that you cut. Um, oh, wait, you know what, I'm going to put my hand... Guys, do you mind if I start a fire? <laughs> do you want to attract attention? I want to see if it burns. Do you want to attract <laughs> attention? You know what? I'm going to cut off a good chunk of it. How much is a good chunk? Like five feet. All right. Like a square? Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I what exactly see, is your game plan? I want to see if this thing can regenerate if I burn it. But I don't want to set a huge fire. All right. So I put the chunk on the ground. Alright. So yeah, it, you like start cutting away, and it like, w as soon as you cut a few tendrils, they just start like wiggling in midair. It's not like dead yeah. set, it's like... Is the part I put on the ground moving at all? Uh, no, I'm just saying like while yeah. you were cutting yeah. it, it was... So yeah, it's it's down on the ground. I'm going to do a quick cut to make sure this part is still alive and regenerating. Alright. I'm going to do what I did with the torch, put my hand over it, fireball. Not fireball, firebolt. Firebolt. Still there. Wait, as in like it wasn't no affected? Hardwood? It didn't catch any flame. Are you happy I tested this? And the this? stuff on the walls start retrailing itself back up on the wall. I don't uh, think. You know what? I'm how, gonna try. How well covered are these walls? Um, 
probably have you seen old Victorian houses nowadays where it's like probably eighty okay. percent at the bottom and like twenty percent at the top? Right. Kind of like that. Um, you do also recognize that the part that you cut down on the bottom, those split ends that you made, now start just glowing out little tendrils of themselves and digging themselves into the dirt. I'm good. Is that in my jar? In your jar, you do see now it's like dug itself into it, so now it's like a little pseudo handle. <laughs> Is it breaking the jar? No. Okay. Well, I put the jar back there and. I'm just going to test another element. I'm going to just put my hand over it and do shock and grasp. Lightning. It actually just like shakes off your, and kind of goes up your arm a little bit. Victor! Yes? Um, don't you have an acid attack? I have poison spray. I'm okay. testing. Okay. One second. No. Alright, I cast poison spray. On the vine. It hits the vine and falls into the dirt. This is very, very worrying! I but, hope you all wait, understand that. Hold on a second. I'm, right. I got two more tricks up my sleeve. Uh, he, he did have his hand up, so... All right. I think we should be less concerned with the vegetation and more concerned with getting in the castle. Well, that vegetation is proving to be magically resistant. But there is also a gate behind it that is currently down. Yeah, but we the can. stuff inside might also be magically resistant. It's no. magically resistant. Then we'll bear that in mind. Nonetheless, we need to move. What, let me test, Victor. You said you had one more thing you wanted to test. I have two more things I want to try out. Yeah, please. I uh, want to see if there's. Right. In, the, in the meantime, I assume me, me, me and uh, Oscar, since he's probably back, at, since he is back at this point, we're going to try to, we're going to start break, hacking at the gate. Yeah, except I don't I, know what you can hack with. I just. I can borrow an axe. Okay. Yeah. Just like whipping the gate. Wait, to... really? <laughs> guys, guys. What I axe just... though? Oscar only has the one, doesn't he? I just. Oh, uh, he he has his little maul that I, he could probably I have a hand. hand. Um, All right, adventurous kit has a um, cutting axe, not an actual fighting axe. Sure. Oh, okay. oh okay. I'm prepared this time. Yes. Also, you do realize so, how bad this is, right? Yes. For you, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but as of right now, since you can't do anything with it, I'm seeing if it's if there's anything that can hit it. I'm going yeah. to assume over time while they're working on that, you will just yeah, stand and I'll, take I'll, time taking. I'll help them with the daggers. <laughs> My daggers. <laughs> well, no, just. Like filing. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> fine. The three of you can work on that. Uh, what were you trying? What were you planning? Okay, so uh, I am now going to try Ray of Frost. Actually, on the line. all right. Okay. It does seem to coat the vegetation, but you can see through the glistening of the ice, it is still. So no effects, huh? So we it has covered it. It's covered it. Yes, it is not breaking through the ice. Or. I, so, yeah, I use Ray of Frost. I'm going to grab up my dagger and see if I can break it. Break the ice? Or break the vegetation itself? Well, I'm, because he's already cut off vegetation, and he you've seen it grow back. I think, yeah. I think, I, I, think it, I think it's more like a, is it frozen enough to break completely? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you start chipping through the ice, and as soon as you chip through and get to the vegetation, the vegetation is not frozen. Okay, so, other thing I want to try out... Shocking grasp. I already he already tried it. it. Oh, you tried yeah, it. Yeah, it, it went okay. right. It just went Victor, right off. Oh, you need to stay I'm, very I'm going close to, make to an me. Arcana check. Okay. Sure. Your magic will be useless uh, if anything in there is like this. Okay. Here. Um, eight. I'm just. I'm just curious. I'm just curious as as to whether this would react to radiant damage. It's sticky. It's gooey. It. it it it's kind of like moving tar. Okay. So I'm going to go up to the door. Isn't there, there's vines covering the door? Well, it's a gate. The gate? Vines covering no. it? No. No? So what were they hacking at? The gate itself. They were hacking at the gate. Oh. Yeah. There's, from this side, there's no way to raise the gate, so they're just trying to cut through and get a good enough circle yeah. to go through. So we're making only, a hole. If yeah. only we had people with magic who could destroy gates! I you probably wouldn't want to waste spells at this point. I know, point. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> I could burn the gate down, but then that would alert us to their to alert them to us. I could try shocking um, grass to see if it makes it easier to break well, it. Is it? Or no, ray of frost, not shocking grass. Um, so we want da damage is damage, but please. Is it wooden or yeah? It's wooden. That. It's wooden with like steel spikes to keep oh. it implanted and whatnot. Oh, well, probably right. supporting uh supporting steel um um rivets and stuff. Right. 
I'll uh, I'll try to process it, see if it weakens it. So you so you're all just gonna collectively deal damage to this thing? Yeah. Wait, yeah. no, stop. No. Mold Earth. See if it can lift it up. Mm. Okay. Um, okay that's a good two idea. five foot sections. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna start with that. All right. Yeah. It it doesn't seem like it is that heavy of a gate. But it doesn't go up the full five feet. Then because it seems rustic and almost stuck in place. So you get only about a good two, three feet off the ground. You can crawl, yeah. but you're not then sure how long... What I'm going to do is I'm going to spell that and do one ten foot by five... Ten by five, because that's what it is. All right. Ten foot tall, five foot length, width. Oh, just like dead in the middle? Yes. You, you go up to about that three feet, and it seems to be stuck. Um, mm. Mm. Oh. Minimus, would you yeah. mind scouting? Just like ten feet in. You do see down this hallway, it's a good forty to fifty feet of an overarched stone way until you uh, until like an open courtyard sort of area. Okay. Mm. Uh, I say we go in. Well, All right. I have time perhaps, to... perhaps perhaps the uh, mechanism on the other side still works. I'll I'll, I'll go. I'm first. trying to be kind of sneaky. Oh, okay. so how dark is it? Um. It's not dark as in nighttime. The overlooming purple red hue does give to like a blood moon sort of visage. Mm. So it seems fairly lit, and you do see past this fifty foot um, open way is an open courtyard. Mm. So it's you can see everything dimly that you don't need dark vision. Uh, you might have disadvantage of like range attack if you're shooting at a very far distance. But other than that, like, all close-range combat and stuff like that, you can still see well enough. So I'll crawl in after you. Same. All right. And so you're all crawling in, and then you're dispelling yeah. it? I mean, right. I'm going to lower it slowly so it doesn't bang. Got it. All right. So you are now on the other side, and proceeding to the, for uh, to the, uh, to the forward direction, you do see an very... Very foot trafficked, but probably prim primarily untouched for many years, front courtyard. Mm -hmm. You immediately see to the upper left corner, there seems to be rows and rows of dirt where vegeta vegetation used to be. To the right hand side, and a little bit around the corner, um, past this front pillar part, uh, you see what used to resemble stables, but you see no living animals whatsoever. You just recognize the way that it's for, uh, formally set. To the left-hand side, there's a little bit of an inclined plane, and off behind you, you do see a raised platform, but you can't see much that's past there. In front of the raised, ra raised platform, you see several scarecrow sub structures with archery ranged targets set on each one of them. Directly in front of you and surrounding the entire area is stone walls that reach the top ceiling, or not top ceiling, but to the top floor. You do see four, five doors throughout the entire perimeter. One directly in front of you, one past the vegetation on the top right, one directly to the right of you, that is, past the stables. Um, one door that's 15 feet to the left of the door in front of you, and one that is in the top left-hand corner. You can't see much past the um, raised platform here from the angle that you are, because you just made it into the courtyard. Um, there is two uh, stone wood structures that are to each side of you. I assume the scarecrows look as uh, decrepit as anything else. It seems like... Only sticks remain, and like few bits of hay. Well, I, I guess, uh, might as well stop looking. You and I, you and I should should, should take the lead. We'll be, we're least likely to be noticed. I'm gonna tell my familiar <laughs> to stay like 10, 15 feet ahead of us, invisible. All right. Just see if there's any like traps or movement ahead. We say Do that. Do not we engage. That one. Come back if you see anything that moves. <laughs> Thank you, Minimus. I'm sending my familiar 15 feet ahead of us. All right, well, Minimus is now just somewhere in front of you, because you can't see. Yep. I have a mental attachment to her, but we cannot see her. 
Alright, well... I mean, wait, she's in the middle of the courtyard. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, where, what where? else do you want her to do? Where are no. Uh, uh, she, like, ditches <laughs> us. No, <laughs> Okay! <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, per perception for movement. Yes. Uh, I guess I will start to move forward towards, uh, what is it, the door directly at the other end of the courtyard? Alright, directly in front of you guys? Hmm? Straight forward. Yeah. Alright, um... So, you do see a door that is um, wooden laid with metal support around it. Mm -hmm. um, do you wish to test the door? I uh, wish to test Perception. the door, yeah. I'll okay. go with him. Perception. Sorry. Uh, I will help with that. <sighs> it is not locked. Okay. I, uh... Natural 20. Is there... <laughs> <laughs> well, alright, it is not trapped. And upon open, uh, opening up this door... The first thing that you see is just various different amounts of boxes and barrels. No torches, but it is fairly dimly lit from you upon opening the door. Very dusty. Almost like an absence of dust just almost litters out into the courtyard as soon as you open the door. This, this room has not been particularly touched probably since even before this castle got inlaid. Anything in there? Just seems like a storage room. Honestly, okay. Maximus. You do see, almost directly to your right, probably like a good five, ten feet downwards, is another door, though. Yep. Well, if we see something, we will tell you. <laughs> More likely, you will just know. <laughs> yep. So, I'm going to go and try the next door down. The next door down from the courtyard, or the one that, you, that he door just found in the new room? Oh, you found a new room. Oh, I see. I thought you there, had... There's another door inside this room. I guess I'll go and check that door. All right. Mm -hmm. This door is not locked. Okay. Uh, I'll roll for perception see traps. Stop this. Uh, 16. No traps. Okay. Well, I head in. All right. So... I assume this is going to be, become a pretty common pattern for us. You <laughs> open up this <laughs> door, and the first thing that catches your eye is this room is lit. Ooh. The first thing that appears upon your vision is six inlaid, elongated tables, probably about good 15 to 20 feet wide by 5 feet deep. And there are rows of chairs sitting on opposite sides of each other. The room itself is 50 feet in width, about 100 feet in length. Probably this, gr this mostly resembles a great dining hall, because the chairs are specifically stacked uh, um, across from each other, so it's not two rows per each, it's specifically one row on each side facing each other. You do see a giant fire pit that is behind what seems to be two sets, uh, not two sets, but two more elaborate looking chairs, which would probably resemble thrones, who would be the leader of this. Uh, of this castle, and you do see various hangers of where probably old pictures and or um, tapestries? tapestries would probably be inlaid if they still <laughs> remained here. Mm. Other things that you do see around this room besides the lit sconces and what was once resembled as cutlery and uh, platery, you do see various depictions of dead skeletal uh, guardsmen who are some laying on the table, some on the ground, some sitting in chairs. Don't touch them. Yeah. You don't see this. No. I was he, helping. He's yeah. the only one. I, was, I said I was helping him. You were helping him check for the door. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he he was the one yeah. who opened up and looked inside. I turned back to the group and I said, well, it looks like the dining hall's there. From what I could see, someone had the last supper there. But you, the body... Mean? You said lit. There are lit sconces yeah. in the room, yes. Mm -hmm. Lived in? No, lit lived. sconces. Yeah, but lived in? Mm. I mean, everyone here is dead, so... Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, some of the bodies do still remain, and if that village is anything to go by, we should probably be careful. Don't touch the bodies. Should, should we double back and see if we can find a less occupied room? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was All right. Where to go <laughs> with an armor? Uh, they were in rather shambled armor. If Order. you want to inspect them. I'm not going to inspect them. Well, no, I mean, like, do you want to specifically try and look oh, at yeah. them from this distance? If I can do that, I am going I'm to yes. help them on that action. Sure. Um. Staring intently. Uh, 
That is a 17 plus what? Investigation, because you're trying to specifically oh. look at the skeleton. 17 plus 8, 25. 25, and just in case you get that 20. No, no that is a 25. Oh, that was you do see them in very shambled made, anywhere between leather and scale armor. Uh, they do have their weapons, and they also do have a faint coursing of black tar oh, weaving in and out of their armor. Guys, I'm just going to say the tar is on them, so me and v Victor are utterly useless against them. Well, Victor sound. is utterly useless against them. <laughs> Ooh. You act, you, act as if the, you act as if the tar means their entire structure is invulnerable. The tar is invulnerable. Yes. But still, the tar is... is it, was it bubbling? You could not see right. that much of a definition from your distance. The tar was on them, so oddly, I do believe they will this jump is, up. So this is the kind of conversation we have as we're leaving. Yes. <laughs> yeah! Just like... Yep! Yo, guys! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that is perfect! <laughs> Yep, no! Nope. I, I, I so. do want to. I, I want to mention over the table. We haven't used holy magic. But, like, I, yeah. I mean, the man can use divine sense at literally yeah. any yes. time. <laughs> I mean, is that fair to say? Yeah, so. yeah this place is not a good place. <laughs> no, yeah. no, it's God, <laughs> but, dark but, but, but what do you feel? The elements don't work in something that truly is dark magic. Wait, holy magic. Do would I probably know that it. he has paladin like abilities to sense this stuff? He's I mean, a paladin. He's he basically has a bad feeling about this. Okay, he says he has a bad feeling. <laughs> but as soon as you guys like went into this forest, he could sense that. Okay, no, but I mean, this is like sixty foot range. It was like, is that undead? Is that undead? Is that oh, undead? Yeah. Um, basically, he feels it in almost every direction. He feels undead. So, so undeath is literally in everything. Yes, but he also felt it while you guys were back at the village. Yeah. Okay. Well, they, the village should say people came up here once they went mad, so... So, yeah, let's not attack the, uh, armored skellies. And, no, it's uh, leather and we will, So, we will check a, uh... Really quick, what um, room do you guys How many... Do? Last thing, how many were there? Uh, from your count, probably seven. Do you what? think we could take seven of them? Why? To... I'm just because XP. <laughs> I am asking you. Do you think we could take seven? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but I don't want to. We could... I, that wasn't the question I was asking. <laughs> do you think we could take them? They're skeletons. Okay. I could smash them with my fists, quite literally. Then why don't we? It's less evil things in the world. If there's another because room. they will stab us and maim us and impede our progress. Reserving our health is probably the most Other important. doors, let's go. Alright, so you, uh, out of the one, two, three, four, five doors, you adventured in the very most north one. So you have the one that is directly next to it, the two at the far corners, and the one past the vegetation area. Uh, next one over. Yeah, let's do the next I'm one next to it. Assist with the door. Yep, well, I mean, right. it's just it's, Checking. Just, it's, just just, a, it's just a pattern of checks. It's and just for. Yeah, it's just for. You want to see? Traps. I'm trying to I, give him advantage yeah. with assisting. Well, yeah, just, I'm just. So, tra I'm checking for traps as I open the door. No, I did not need assistance. <laughs> uh, no traps. <laughs> yep. Oh, I was. I'm not I'm even worried about traps. I'm yeah, not so that, that was a natural seventeen. So all right. Look inside. So, all right. <laughs> um, inside and I'm so I, this I, one. From this one, you do see probably about fifteen foot long corridor that goes down a good thirty feet. This one also is stacked with different boxes and barrels. It does actually have a few shelves to it, but you do see that there is a archway to your left-hand side that is actually emanating a light from that direction. Oh. Um, I will go over and peer around the corner and see you what's creating the light. I think I know someone who could do it more sneakily. And invisibly. I mean, I'm the rogue. What, uh, what I am I good for? I mean, someone how about you <laughs> both go? Okay, well, I was going to go anyways. Yeah. If you want to send her along, I'd, go I'd assumed it was in front of us. So, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's in front of us, but it's around the corner, so. <laughs> yep, I'm going to look around the corner and see I'm, what's, uh, what's creating the light. I'm sending the pixie light. to help him. Yes. What's creating help? help? So, it, basically, yeah, help. You're just yeah, giving what's, advantage. What's creating the light? Uh, um, several more lit sconces, but this seems to be an inlaid kitchen area. You do see several different tables with vastly rotten food. Oh, boy. <laughs> just... Almost as black and decayed as the tar that surrounds this castle, you do see an amalgamation of about four 
guard skeletons that are littered various places, some over tables, some just laying in the corner. Um, you do see a little bit of a, probably a fallout hole, probably for, like, discarding and stuff. One of the skeletons is actually draped over that. Um, but other than that, it's just an inlaid kitchen area that, that would probably prepare food for the Great Hall. Alright, I go back to the party, I'm like, there's more guards in the kitchen over there, so if we want to go past, we might have to be sneaky, or they might leave us alone. The around. kitchen probably leads to Were the dining hall. Were there any doors? Uh, well, the great see, hall would be I, the dining hall. Did I see any? Did I see any doors in there? Uh, you did not see any doors in the kitchen. No. That's what okay, I was saying. So. It probably leads to the room we were already in. Let's go check the so, next door. I guess if we're playing it safe. Hmm. All right. Let's so go. now you have the two in the far off corners, and you have the one past the vegetation. From hmm. this angle, you can see up the little. Uh, you can see up the little ledge area, and it does seem. Like, there is actually another door very far in the offhand side that you could not see previously because of this uh, up archway. Not archway, ledgeway. So now there are four doors in total, one at each primary, uh, uh, preliminary corner. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, anyone, anyone want to choose specifically, or should I? You may choose, I'll assist. Uh, okay, I'll... <laughs> Uh, so, I, ch I checked okay. the door Damien, on the way. So you've got Damien, these... Damien, listen to me. We're scouting a castle. Yep. We're scouting a you've castle. Got yep, these so... four, and <laughs> you're the road. We trust you. Yeah. These four. This is the one you checked first. This is the one you checked second. These are okay. your four remaining. I checked the one at the top left. Um, so this one. Yep. All right. Minimus will help you perceive inside the room. All right. Uh. Uh. What do I have to be perception? So. And you have Thirteen. Advantage. Thirteen, so... No, yeah, thirteen. In total? In total. Just, yeah, that's the best one. Alright, so... It's not trapped? Yep. You wanna so, go inside? Yep, I, All uh, right. I go inside. This one is fairly dark lit. Oh. Excuse me. But what you do see, peering inside, there is a very... There is a slight lit candle that is on a singular, non-destroyed table. There are five or six different tables in this area, but this is the last remaining structure that is not destroyed. Everywhere else is inlaid with books and shelves of Ooh. inscriptions and different, different type of scriptures and writings. You do see five guards and a robed skeleton that is laid over one of the books and is laying right next to the singular candle. Yeah. Do you I'm going bathe? to roll... No, no, I want to roll to... What would I roll to see if the books look like they have any sort of dark corruption on them? That would be investigation. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I noticed nothing. Do you <laughs> convey what you saw? Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to go back. I just want to see if the books were that way. Okay. Well, it seems to be more of a library area, and there's about as many guards in here as there was in the, uh, in the kitchen area, but, uh, it, this seems to be more magically inclined. One of the skeletons is even seems to be wearing some wizard magic-related gear. We might be able to find information what we need in there. If the books are intact anyway. They lo did I, did they, did they were they, they intact from what I saw? Basically... Out of a collective amount of books that you saw, imagine a regular book size, right? Mm -hmm. The most that you saw was one book had half of its pages left. Most of the other books either had less or none of them at all. They were just purely leather bound and empty. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures that you saw, most of them were probably ripped in half, ripped to pieces, or illegible from the distance that you were at. It was a very dark lit room, you couldn't see too much. But there doesn't seem to be anything useful in there. All the books seem to be destroyed. All, all the things in there seem to have seen better days, especially the once people. How far away were you from the books? Uh, there was actually several books probably even close to his feet as soon as you opened the door. Okay. Mm. But they were there everywhere. <laughs> There's probably some right next to the door if you really want to grab one. We could, we could, we could investigate if, we, if you like. We we have not we have not yet agitated these things. We don't even know really if they're 
capable of. How do we what, know what, what do you they're use? Not animating? Animate. Reanimate. Reanimate. Yeah. It's just if we're going to find information, even if it's a page or something, it mm -hmm. might be useful. We are looking for relics in this castle. That is the place to start. Are there any agreements that we might have to go in there and fight those things? Mm, shall we? I, well, if we could take seven, Wait, we should be able to take these, but, but how not do be we too careful. Know they're not, they're as, how do we even know they're hostile? We could be like, well, it's a two. It's, it's, uh, it's more a matter of be prepared. Yes. Mm. Also, yes, if they, okay. if they are truly evil, they will probably I'm sure draw Oscar their needs weapons. No encouragement. So, mm. Victor, I need you to stay very close to me. Mm, and I guess I hug him. <laughs> Not that close. I still need to I unhug fight. him. Right. <laughs> Radke, would you mind leading? Do you want to lead? I'll take second, and then you two, third. And Oscar would technically be second, I guess. No, Do Oscar it. should and take up the and rear. And, okay, and, let's so. not, and let's not attack on sight. Yeah, no, 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 no. 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 I'm, I want to see what happens, and I want to try to keep stuff intact if possible, so no fire magic. Yep, so who's taking point? Radke. Then All right. Armed, armed, armed and ready. What exactly are you going to do when you are inside? Mm -hmm. Um, mm. I guess... Uh, uh, the fir well, you said there's guards and a robe figure? Yes. I approach the robe figure. You approach the robe figure. Uh, you recognize that when the skeleton robe figure was facing downwards, it had its head in this position... As soon as you go back into the room, the head is now facing in this direction. Oh, well, I can tell. I think I've noticed that, uh... We are already approaching. <laughs> yeah, Role oh, yeah. play, man. Role play. No, 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 yeah, I was trying to tell you guys. I, I was just trying to say, like, um... Oh, they, they are capable. There are such things as grabbing my shoulder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That's action. Okay. Oh, action. Yep. Reaction. Yep. My shoulder. Guys, they're moving. Hold up. This I'm gonna draw my sword. Or no, you you should, should draw your sword. I draw okay. my sword. You I should draw. all roll the sword. <laughs> <already. laughs> yeah. Can I cast Mage Armor really quick? Cool? As of right now, since initiative has started, and they everybody knows everything at the same What's time, right, nobody gets a surprise run. round. Great. Oh, well. Great. All right. Um, are, we, uh, are we cutting this part out for that, I, that I draw? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, Did you roll? No. I apologize. Bro, you may roll first. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Go. Now move yours. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. Oh, Insert nice. sad meme music here. <laughs> Hashtag stop sad. Hashtag stop sad. Okay. That was a good roll. Yeah, you have a plus nine. <laughs> Any roll is a decent roll. The lowest you can get is a ten. <laughs> I was trying to be modest. It was a good roll. <laughs> You're going to be modest with a plus nine. I yeah. think he's the one who said plus nine, okay? I, 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 I just said it was a you good You come role. in here asking for a plus 19. No. But dude, we already know you have a plus 19. Yeah, it's kind of... You can't be modest with that. <laughs> it's like me trying to be modest about my plus 11 and stuff. It doesn't work. <laughs> uh. Plus 11. Oh yeah, that's for the thing. Yeah. Pen tablet. And now I, I, just, I just sit in sadness while I wait for him to ask for the numbers. I knew I should have put on my ring of protection before he went in there. You no, you had your ring of protection on. You never took it off. You just didn't no, no, activate it. No, he has to. Yeah, he has to activate it. So you can yeah. take your turn to activate it if you right want. Right now, your turn. Remember, oh, yeah. remember, 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 your turn. remember, mage armor will give you more than the plus one. Because no, 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 plus... we. Ta I talked us over the at with Adam. It's going to stack regardless. No, 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 no we're, we're, stack. Saying, okay. we're saying if you're going to do one, prioritize mage armor. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yes. I'll, also, don't necessarily I'm use it for. Going, a... I'm not going to hey, put the ring of protection on now. It's just simple skeletons. What? The ring also gives you plus one on saving throws. Uh, I know, what I was going to say is, not. the Ring of Protection might be better saved for Wait, a larger battle instead of five skeletons. It's going to last all day at minimum. We're in the castle. Oh yeah, I know, but then you after that it's gone. Poof, what if we don't end up needing it? Uh, we're in <laughs> a castle of undead. You are correct, actually. And I still have mine. No, plus one on AC and saving throws. This is a dungeon. I haven't. This is what we bought the things for. I haven't played a dungeon crawler in so long. I need. I'm just saying. No, it's fine. I need to play just some more dungeon crawlers. You, actually, it's you just fun. gotta remember, it's D and D. You can do anything a human being can do. Dungeon crawlers are fun, though. I want to play one again. Like find an We are crawling stuff. through and, a dungeon oh, right now. You want to not have enough skeletal structures? Yeah, actually, my dad's. You want to know a game I have? Any? 
No, no, no. pennies. Pennies are lame. I no, know I have a really fun no. dungeon crawl game. I forgot They're about just... Enter the Gungeon. If you know about that. They're I know I have a bunch of. We should be talking about it on the camera. No, no, we'll just cut out because he's drawing. They're probably downstairs. I'll just use the dice for now. Okay, it's easier if if the numbers get any bigger. I should have prepared by having more up here. That is my bad. That's why we have substitutes. You know, banter like I would find the the audience would find banter like this to be really interesting. I might keep some of it in. Mm. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I would say make like a highlights reel, like off yeah, camera. Yeah, because How about I just keep some of this in. Because but oh. you're, no. you're the editor, my friend. You could yeah. put it at the end of the video after credits as the blooper reel. Ah. How about we edit one thing first? All right. And then so we'll yeah. first yeah. was you. First right. Was what you were first? Yeah. Yes. And you were approaching the skeleton. I Next was me. you. Oh, I, I'm uh, pretty much close to him. And I'm with, with him. <laughs> yeah, you were I'm, him. I was taking up the rear, and you were somewhere in between? Yup. Alright. Oh boy. And what? Wait, what's this? Uh, those are the four dilapidated tables that used to be in this room. Ah, okay. So we Woo. just walked over that? Yeah, you, you want, walked around it. Do you basically. want to clap again for the end or no? Um, I'll, at your discretion, I'll, I'll clap again. Yeah, it's just. Um, All right, but I'm also still it's setting already things synced, up. theoretically. But also, oh, I don't yeah. know how much you're cutting out. Do you need once it I to sink be? it at the beginning, I can just cut it. Oh, then yeah, sure, that's right. Because sure, that's that's right. Right. it's just time chunks at that point. Yep, I'm a brain lick. All right. Because once so, they're synced, they're one video. And we are getting back in. I want in. to say that louder, please. We are getting back in. Thank you. <laughs> I would Love like initiative rolls. Okay. Called 25 to 20. What you? Oscar has 21. Okay. So, Dylan, 20 to 15. Oh no. 15 to 10. Thank God. Dread Key has 11. <coughs> Noah has an H. Uh, 10 to 5. <laughs> we have the 8, 5. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think you could get lower. Oh, oh. oh I rolled a nat 3. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a net four. <laughs> I rolled a thirteen. But my initiative sucks. My initiative is amazing, so that's the only reason I got higher. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Well, I know uh, who I'm going for first. All right. I mean, let me. I'm, I'm not even that upset. They it's may just or may not be able to cast magic. I'm not I'm upset. guessing one of them can. I'm not upset. I'm yeah, prioritizing. Derek. I'm not, upset. Sorry. I'm not upset at the game, I'm upset at the principle of getting an at 3. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that there are rules that balance out the game is outrageous. The fact that <laughs> dice have a number 3 on them. <laughs> Alright. How dare dice have a number 3 on them? First uh, is Dylan. I'm Ooh. shocked. shocked is this the robed one? Uh, that's a table. That's number a table. Oh, that's a table. That's a table. Number 2 is the robed one. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20. You're on top, You're of, on top the of the table. That's that squares the oh, table. Sorry. The light is blurring it. Yeah, sorry. That that rectangle is the table. These can I do that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm at advantage right now, right? Yep. yep. So first attack with my family longsword. Got it. Is 13 plus 7. Is that 20? 17 plus 7. Is that a hit? 24 hits. My second attack. Uh, that would be a 19. It's a 19. Alright, that one hits. It has two new rolls of a d8 plus 6. That is 12. And 8 plus 6 is math. 14. Thank you. 14. In total? Yeah, the second one was 14, the first one was 12. Alright. 26. 26. Slashing? Yes. Alright. Whatever a longsword does. Uh, long door sword does piercing. No, no, that's short sword. Slashing. All right, sorry. So slashing yep. uh, sets so twenty six points of slashing. You just rip right through its cloth, and your blade is now a little bit coaxed in black as you see the entire center lined um, torso of it is just coat in that black tar vegetation that you saw earlier. Did it, do I see if it takes damage? Or? It does take damage. Yes, it does. It does take the amount of damage that you dealt. Just okay. give me one second. And then I'm going to tell Minimus to do something once you're done. Come on. 
Right, yeah. So it takes the full amount, and what are you doing? Minimus, through this whole entire combat, just help Victor. Alright. Oh boy. Woo. You're actually helping out your teammates. It's my job! <laughs> Next is... Oscar. Oh, Oscar. Um, let's see... Uh, which, which of these is Victor? No, oh, Victor That's is here. Okay. Yeah, logical, logical, logical thing to do. Yeah, between him and that. All right. Good idea. Uh, any, anything special needs to happen? No, we don't really know what they are yet. Let's see what. Let's see what we got. He'll be, he'll be using the bludgeoning. He'll, he'll be using his, his smashing, the yeah, smashing end of his weapon. Got it. Got it. Does uh, a 16 hit? 16 does. And a 21, I assume? <laughs> no, that one misses! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all over. It's all over. But these done. are skeletons. So. Mm. What? I'm just checking the camera. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. What an interesting Womp. difference. 20, 20, 3! 20, 20, 20 in total? Oh wow! Your your uh, hammer part is now just very slightly because of the force that you use, a great amount of speed, just shatters the skeleton as the tar just flops onto the floor with the skeleton body. Oh, well, shoot! But yeah, you do have just a tiny bit of tar on your mace. Um, oh, I have to talk about that. Uh, never mind. Mm, all right. Yeah. Next would be the guards. Oh boy! Oh. Do you mind moving the other one right next to Maximus on this side? Alright, so first, yeah, one will attack you. Me? Oh boy! No. Uh, okay. Attack Saber. Oh boy! And that will be... The <laughs> five! Nope! Um, <laughs> Advantage on you, because you're being flanked. Well, that's a natural 20. Oh, Oof. oh no. That hurts. So... Oh. As you prepare yourself to punch the skeleton, you just get a slight pain in your side as this long sword kind of goes right through the side of your, uh, not rib cage, but sort of through your stomach for 11 points of piercing damage. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one On me. will hit you. Does that advantage too? That's a natural one. It misses. <laughs> it does. Um, I wonder oh. if it hit. <laughs> the next one will be the mage. Oh boy. Oh, you can add anything. And I'm going to read. Oh wait. <laughs> you sorry, sorry. You said one of them attacked Dylan? Yes. Okay, I'll take my re I'll take my reaction and hit and hit it. How? Don't wait. you have to be 5 feet next to him? Ah. Uh, There's a skeleton in between you guys. Oh, that one. That's yes. that no, not within my that, Wait. Is it? No, that's, that's like not, that's, oh, that's not within my range. It's not within my range. No. Never mind. I need both of you. To make dexterity saving throws. Oh boy. Me? You and you. Okay. Dexterity saving you're throws. You're in a line. Oh, you're in a line. He's gonna cast like a really powerful lightning bolt. Fuck. Counterspell. Oh. Okay. Counterspell, um, what level does it go up to? It goes up to four. It goes up to four without having to roll? Yep. Alright. I rolled a one. I've just. I'm just counterspelling. <laughs> I saw. You see, as the skeleton being hit from you twice leans over the table and starts to grab for the flame. Oh, I'm so glad engulfs, I did that. As it engulfs its hand, you kind of just smack like, <laughs> no, 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 fire, and then and the fire, the fire, fire whips out in his hand. I'm just, not letting you burn this. <laughs> Bad Skelly. <laughs> Bad Skelly, go it, to your room. You hit it, and then like. I'm it a mage! Looks, it looks back at you. <laughs> Careful, tell us not block the mice. Um, no, 
this one. Alright. I'm not letting you burn this. That was the major turn. No. Sweet. Oh. I rolled a one and I did not want to get hit by a fireball. Ah, uh, that was so funny. I saw it too. Um. Well, they have no flesh to play, so I'll just stick to my punches. Alright. Oh, or whatever. <laughs> Oh, a punch. I mean, counter spell's good. Yeah, I only have one left. Hey, that, that's so, why you use it. Targeting the mage first. Okay, so you get advantage with this. Because it's fine. What? are flanking each other. Natural 20? Okay! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Return fire! <laughs> wow. Uh, roll, roll for damage. Oh. Right. Uh, oh my Double god, my first use of counter spell. I smacked his hand. Borks. <laughs> no! My history. <laughs> So that one will be 13 on its own. Alright, so he smacks its hand, and you just take your hand doing a plummeting strike into the forehead and just breaks the entire uh, skeletal uh, skull and just it shatters and incinerates. What? There is a, like, your hand is now just almost coaxed in the black tar. As you oh. see now, now the skull has made like a cup of tar that's just liquefying out onto the table. So yeah, can I have that die back? Yep. I'm going to be searching that body. Fun. Fun. Um, yep. so, more attacks! So. so yeah, I'll, I'll aim the next two against the one behind me then. <laughs> Alright. Woo! Uh, so no more advantage, so uh, first and second. Yep. Oh, is he no. a natural one over there? Yeah, that's a natural uh, one. The other one's a three, so um, nine. No, so you wah, take your wah, wah. you take your hand and you thrust it down and you're like, okay, my hand's in here. You try and give two kicks to the one behind you, but it kind of takes the sword out. Seeing you moving its, seeing you moving your foot, it just primarily dodges back away from your foot kick, from your feet kicks. Hey, it's not footing. <laughs> no, no. And right here. You're gonna try and like balls over the table. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, Damien. Sweet flips, man. Woo. Uh, you do have one behind you. Yes. So I'd have to disengage if I want to leave it. If you want to leave it, yes. Yay. But I, luckily I could do that as a bonus action, so I'm going to do that. Alright. That's my bonus action. 10, 20, 30. Hey, you're going to leave me open? That's you have a bunch of people around you. But that doesn't mean it's not going to be able to attack me before any of them are able to. You're fine. This is my you, don't you, didn't you cast me? Oh, oh no, no, you don't have to have them taking a turn yet. Yeah, but then they don't go after. They'll be dead. They don't already, worry. Yeah, they're all right. Every, so, everybody I'll, takes their own turn. Yep, I'm, and I'm going to use a uh, sneak attack on the one here since there's someone within five feet of it. All right. Uh, Twelve. Uh, Twelve to hit. Nope. Ah. Just blinks off its armor. Boom. Oh. Okay, well... Anything else? No, that's all. <laughs> Alright. I can't do anything else. Victor! Uh, you should really have your names down, not your people's names. Mm. I mean, it would be good for the audience to get familiar. Yeah. So, so. Anyways, Mage Armor. Mage Armor? Mage Armor. <laughs> Purple, blue glow starts formulating around Victor's And a single tear. No, that's an action. No, I'm talking about the uh, Wild oh, Magic. Oh, Ma Wild Magic. Yeah. My first ever Wild Magic roll of my new die. Yay, Woo! roll it. That uh, is a nat 20. Oh yeah! my gosh! Oh! Come on! We're gonna see today! Can I counter <laughs> No. no. You, all, you also used your reaction, and this isn't a spell oh, that gets cast. Oh, god damn it. You better not burn this stuff. Oh, you better god. not turn it I really want you, you to cast a fireball at your feet. <laughs> oh, oh my no. god! No! No! no. <laughs> Really suck. You're gonna burn all this uh, history. I'm all the percentiles that anymore. Uh, oh, he's the, he does the percentiles. I don't know. What does it do? What'd you get? <laughs> this is history. Watch my hair fall off. Oh no. This is history. Everybody looks as the blue purple vision appears around Victor's body, and then no more. Oh, Victor no. has disappeared. <gasps> I I've gone to the celestial plane, haven't I? No, you're. You don't sense anything. You're just standing around looking at your buddies, you're and they're, they're wondering where you've gone. Oh. So, you become invisible for the next one minute. Woo! During that time, other creatures cannot hear you, but it ends if you attack or cast a spell. 
Alright. Oh, yeah. I know so what you, I'm doing. I'm just going to sit here and wait. <laughs> you, basically, you basically got a free potion of invisibility. Basically. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that actually turned out... I, I mean, I could even... Though, though you guys don't know where Victor's gone. He's what? just instantly vanished from the battlefield. Uh, don't worry. Keep fighting. And I'm nobody just, can hear you. I'm going to just sit oh, down yeah. my bag of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Like invisible popcorn. Can invisible Thank creatures God. see invisible creatures? No. No. Okay. No. Unless you have seen invisibility, then no. Actually, I was about maybe. to say, maybe Ma Ma Minimus could sit right. down and eat popcorn with him. Back, back to Maximus. I like, I so. like try to share it with her, maybe? You don't know where she is, because you don't... You, remember, oh, you yeah, don't see right. invisibility. Yeah, yeah. Does right. a 16 hit? Yes. Does a 15 hit? Well, we know what the AC is. <laughs> I know. A little bit. Oh, seven. You take the first one and plunge it into the chest. You take it out. You hear rib cage, rib cage is cracking, but as soon as you take it out, your blade is just coaxed again. You take a nice good slash, and it goes just right across the armor and like gets a good dent into it. Um, I use my um. React, do I have an act? what is it called? Reaction to talk? Bonus action. Bonus action. Okay. Oscar, I need to borrow your hammer! Or Alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anything else? You taking a movement or anything? Yeah. You'd have to disengage. I would. Uh. <laughs> Look at Adam! <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'll make you a happy DM. No, no, I'm not. All right. Oof. Come on, guy. You gotta throw him a bone every So, then. Oscar. I realized something as we were fighting, so that's why I used my time to talk. Used to say that. No. Five, ten, fifteen. Did you? He, you just remember he did ask for your hammer. Because yeah. he does. And Oscar's moving that way. Mm. Okay. Because <laughs> he does still have you this. Put down everything hammer. in his path. I can't. I can't throw it. I mean, you can. It would still be attached. Yes. <laughs> attached to what? Oscar. No, he gave him the chain of. I have returning. the chain of returning. Oh. Yeah, he gave it back to him. Uh, gave it to him last session. Because he put it on his sword. Yeah. I mean, would you let me toss it that direction as part of my movement? You can make. Um, you can make a dexterity check along with your movement to not do an attack action. So roll, roll dexterity to see if you actually make it to him. Oh. Nine. It goes ten feet over your head and it's now behind you and it clanks against the wall. Can I get one word in? Sure. Thanks! No problem! <laughs> Hold on. Let me take a look at that. I totally That's hammer is That's here, it, right? Hammer um, is there. What type? Uh, bludgeoning, one and two. Got it. Uh, eleven and eleven. What? You both miss. You, you take your time to throw the hammer out and try and collect it yourself. You try and take two swings, but it's all you through the hammer so it recognizes that you're in that position and it prepares itself and gets out of the way from both attacks. Mm. Nice. Though it will retaliate at Oscar for trying to swing at it. Oh, but oh dear. Natural five. <laughs> oh, you you scared me. No, you hit Oscar, our most armored... Bad. Yeah. You scared me. Oh, not again. Did they just say something? Are, are they really are they really that deranged? I mean yeah, oh, that's they're scary. corrupted. They are corrupted. Um does a twelve hit? Nope. Nope. Alright, so it comes up cranking at you with its bones clinking and clattering against the armor, swings at you and a miss. Well. <laughs> Oh, now the other one's in. So I'll start. Well, I'll start with this one. All right. Um. I do want to say over the table, the one in front of me didn't attack. Yeah, none of them attacked except. Uh, oh no, that one retaliated. That's right. Okay. I'll forget it. Uh, if, if if I mess something up, I mess something nope, up. I'm just trying to be an honest player. Yeah. <laughs> I just. One and two. One and two. I'm not saying you have to do it. I'm just pointing it out. Okay, 15 and an 18. 15 misses, 18 hits. Yeah. So. 
Uh, seven damage. All right. So, you vault over the table, and now you're down lower. While Oscar tries to swing for its head twice, it gets to a lower position, now making it a wider target, and you kick right into the rib cage, and it bursts out the rib cage off to the other side, and it is gone. Alright. And I dance around and get one more hit on that one. Your With foot advantage. is a little bit gooey. Yeah. With advantage. With advantage, yes. Since technically that was two attacks, right? Um, 22, yes. Sure. Seven again. All right. So now, seeing the other one, you climb over the table and kind of lunge yourself forward, giving a forward head, uh, forward foot kick to the head of the other one while he's trying to swing at it. He's actually going for a third swing. You knock it out of the way and just it's dead. Yep. Dead. Big yeah. surprise. All right. They aren't very durable, are they? Saber. All right. Have one engaged in you, well, with you. Yup. <laughs> hmm. I guess I will do a double double dagger swipe. All right. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. That is a fifteen and. Nope. Oh, that'd be a 15 or 14, so I need to get it. Nope. No. <laughs> you, you guys are just taking your daggers and swords like, <laughs> One of us shall surely win! Eventually. Victor! You're, you're invisible. And you eat <laughs> popcorn. I'm going to start eating my popcorn, but do it a lot slower. Alright. Okay. What, you're not gonna help at all? No, no, there's, there's nothing dude. I can do to help. You can hit it. Yeah, there's. You can there's... shoot it. Yeah, it's right there. You guys have it already taken care of, though. It's no, engaged on the don't. rogue. It's engaged on Until the it rogue. is dead. <laughs> Until it is dead, it is still turn. dangerous. What? My turn? Well, Whatever. I'm well, just waiting. That's it. Fucking... What? I well, can't do it with my orders. You lose invisibility if you but attack. But my them. cantrip doesn't. We established my cantrip doesn't do anything to the no. black vines. But no. black vines, but you can still hit the skeleton itself. Yeah. I mean, we cut we cut away the vines and it didn't work, but we cut these guys and they die. Yeah. It's probably just gonna have a resistance. Alrighty then. Then I. All right, fine. I'll um I'll do eldritch blast then. All right. So that is two types because you're yep. level five. Yep. Do it. That does not hit. Okay. And then second beam. <laughs> three. And that is a nineteen. Plus whatever that's a hit. Plus uh, yeah, it's twenty. So one D ten. Yep. Three. All right. Ooh. It hits the leg, and there's a little um, there's a little black charring on the back of its leg. Uh, you did hit it, but it doesn't. It, it, it's normally for the three damage, but it doesn't seem focused on you. It still seems focused on the target in front of it. But my invisibility vanishes, right? Yes, yeah, so you you appear back into. Damn it! I had a really good joke set up, and the battle was over. <laughs> <laughs> That's joke enough, man. Right. That's joke enough. Maximus. Uh, five ten. All right. Pick that up. Got it. It's part of your movement. Uh, I will okay. say it takes five movement so of your 15. round. There. Yeah. So fifteen. Uh, 20, 25, 30. Kill it! Um, get it now! I can... Fire bolt it. Alright. Point at it. <laughs> you know what? Total of, is it damaged? It's damaged because he dealt for it. Wisdom save of 16. Yeah, that's a 4. <laughs> okay, that is... You know what? 2d12. Alright. Roll two ones. Oh. Hey. You got one of them right! <laughs> Eleven! Eleven? It it just crumbles away as like the bones detach from each other and the skeletal falls into a pile of bones. Well, that really was the toll of the dead. So, <laughs> first things first. Yeah. What? Press. I clean your hand, right. I clean my sword. All I right. shoot my sword, I hold the hammer. What does the hammer do? Clean the sword. Uh, it's it's just a two-handed mall, uh, two-handed hammer, either one d eight one-handed or one d ten two-handed. So it's just like my long sword. Yeah, but it's bludgeoning instead of piercing. And we're fighting skeletons. And I talk to you one more time. I don't mean to be a bother, but I. But I okay, everyone. You press at his foot. You press the hammer. Really quick. 
I'm gonna go search the mage. All right. Wait, has everyone um, noticed How exactly that does that stuff feel that? on my bare flesh? Yeah, they can look around from the battle Damn it. and just. Uh, <laughs> how, what does that stuff feel like? I was gonna be like, like, that was a great battle, flesh. guys, and you just suddenly notice how you feel again, like, freak hey, out. Have you, have you ever actually felt tar? Uh, yes. Not in person. Have you ever felt non. uh, non. non solidified cement? Uh, no. It doesn't Silly feel. Silly putty. Yes. Silly putty with a more viscous, like, um, liquid to it. Silly putty with maple oh. syrup. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Minimus, help me out over here. But it just doesn't feel good. Yeah. I, I got you. I got you, buddy. I got that much. Hey. All right. I, I, I'd like to mention over the table, you don't have to press digitation me, because I missed every single attack in that battle. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, buddy. Do not worry. It's a red key. Do not worry. Yeah, and you cleaned off uh, Oscar's mace as well. Thank yeah. you. All right. Um, Minimus, help me out here. I'm checking this guy out. Help <laughs> yeah. advantage. All right. Oh, that's how it works, right? Yeah. yeah. It's it's gonna look with its eyes while yeah. you look with your hands. And that is investigation, or um, what? you do you want do you know what you're looking for? No, I don't. You're just gonna search this body. Okay, I'm searching for so, anything I, magical, evil. All right, so roll. Investigation. This will be. Yeah, investigation. Because you're trying to look for something specific, even though you don't know it. Ooh. Uh, just Six plus eight. Advantage. Six plus eight is... Fourteen. 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 You find a lot of tar on this. <laughs> okay. And the purple inlaid robes and skeletal remains. Normal robes. Normal robes. Yeah, keep the robes. It is completely tarred over on the inside. I can't clean that out. No. no. Now, I'm getting, now I'm gonna check out this table. That is and gone. Guys, no. I got a I got a job for you. Anything that looks intact, put it on this main table. Oh. Okay. Well, so so should we all so roll? We should all in? investigate. The the tar that came from the skeletal's head has now coaxed probably a good one third to one half of the I'm top of the table. I'm gonna just start cleaning the table off. All right. With Presta and whatever magic need be. It Presta will not affect it of this size. Then I'm gonna mold earth from the ground, a little chunk. I'm just gonna scrape it off. <laughs> it's still gonna be really sticky though. Yeah. Well, it, well it's, it's gonna, gonna take, take you a bit. That's okay. So well, once I get that much off, can I clean the residual sticky with Presta? It will take you a little bit of time, but yes. Well, they're looking. Yeah. I want a clean surface so, to put this on. Mm -hmm. So would we all all? Separately roll investigation, or would we roll? It would be the highest investigation with help, but not okay. yours. I have a plus one. What do you have? No, no not him because he's. I have plus okay. eight, but I'm. What, what do you have for investigation? One. You? <laughs> On what again? Investigation. I believe I have a plus one in investigation. Uh, what about Oscar? Yeah. Okay, well then I guess I'm rolling. I'll just roll two. God plus damn! I have a... All right, so yeah, <laughs> whoever. Let's see how it goes. Uh, oh, Twelve. Twelve's the highest. These are really dated. The last entry that you could find intact, probably about a close to a hundred years ago from this date. What language? Common. I can read that. What is it say? Really? <laughs> it was mainly talking about transportation from the mainlands through the peninsula, since this was probably one of the most notorious stopping routes. Uh -huh. Um. Basic communication with the village and different weather reports. I'm gonna. Just mostly ledgers about the surrounding area. I'm gonna take some cloth from a bag that was part of my bed mm -hmm. and wrap it up very nice and neatly and put it in my bag. You All right, right. Mentioned, you mentioned the skeleton had a, had a book. And that, that one's pretty uh, decrepit. Yeah, that was just different parts of the ledger. It also that one specifically is like almost coats in tar because right. he, he when you slammed it down, that was the book it was laying on top of. The th and really quick, let me check my jar. Well, so much for that book. It seems to be the same. Has it grown at all? Not that you can see from the dirt now. Hmm. Okay, so I've got a book and I've got some tar. I've lost probably a quarter of my bedroll. Uh, about how long would you say we we're searching? Probably with all the muck and trying to take like two pieces and see if they go together, probably about a good 20 30 minutes. Yeah. Guys, I did use one of my most powerful spells during this fight. 
Uh, it's a shame we wasted that so early. Well, Wait, which one did you use? The counter spell. Oh, that's, that's powerful magic. I did not that's want him to burn spell, anything. Right? I'm a historian, pretty much. <laughs> Probably didn't, question, need, probably, probably didn't even need to use it. It was he's casting a fireball that would have burnt everything. You're not gonna say okay. No, no. I, mean, I, I, I'd say, I say those things off screen. And the stuff in the room. Well, I say those things off screen. I'm not uh, gonna say how, but What's the okay. range of the fireball? <coughs> a fireball is a giant ball of explosion that reaches about ten feet and explodes outwards. Okay. It would have burned the book. If it was like firebolt, I would have been like, why? <laughs> I mean, on intuition, I'd probably just say control flame or something. But whatever. Press the digitation to fire away. <laughs> I do that, and I wanted to protect the books. All yep. right. So, are there any doors in this place other than the one we came in? There is one door closest to this door on the north end side. So here? Oh, yes. Here? Like, in that general vicinity, yeah. yeah. It actually on the same square that Victor would be. All right. I go over, and I, I guess I'll go over and uh, open the door. All right, it is also not locked, and uh -huh. you do see a little inlaid hallway that leads to a up spiral staircase. Okay, well, I found a way forward. I'll take points. All yeah, right. Did we check right. the last room? Did we, we check, like... You currently have three unadventured rooms on the ground floor. Yeah. I do so. want to say, if we do want to go fight anything big in this castle, like, for, say, the boss guy, we might want to rest. What is a so, boss guy? The guy in charge. Because I probably will need that slot. <laughs> but let's go upwards. Mm -hmm. Let me come to it. Alright, so proceeding upwards, you do lead yourself to another hallway that leads straight, or from your direction, to the left. You do see several doors along both hallways, and there are sconces that lit both hallways. Hmm. Great. I open the door closest on our left. Alright, closest on your left. The first room that you approach seems to be a small and powdered room. No. Oh. <laughs> Except it's different, dead. different tattered doilies and old pissing pots that are no longer viable for pissing. <laughs> <laughs> How does a pissing pot get so bad it's Nothing. no longer viable for pissing? <laughs> uh, it's corroded and has holes. Okay. Just a simple restroom. Moving on. Next door. Next yep. door seems to be some sort of inlaid guest room. Ooh. You see various amounts of tattered clothes and ripped drapery, um, different pieces of furniture that have been variously ransacked and such. Nothing seems to be of value of information or gathering in this room. All right. <laughs> I am keeping my eyes out for anything like old art or anything of the sort. From the grand, uh, from the grand hall. And the library, no, no pieces of any sort of agriculture or like sculptures or anything like that seems to be of remaining a substance. Mm. I'm just. Is there anyone who nothing detect... that would depict the family that used to live here? Nothing that would depict their sort of living style besides what short end cutlery and the way that this castle was made. I'm just I... keep my open open for stuff for headlift. Yep, I go across the hall to the right door, across from there. Uh, you do see that this door, um, it's actually leading out towards a little balcony area that l overlooks the courtyard. Huh. Interesting. Anything on it, or just balcony? Just of broken railings and a little bit of vegetation that does leach over to the side. Alright. No, so, nothing seems to have changed in the courtyard? Nothing no. seems to have changed. Easy way down. No. <laughs> uh, um, just asking, did anybody close any of the previously mentioned doors? I, I closed the yeah, powder room one. I have closed one. every door. I've helped them open. Okay. Mm -hmm. I closed the powder room one, but gonna, since then I haven't. Um, you continue, then I'll say my thing. No, I was just saying I haven't closed any of the doors. So. Minimus, you want to go make sure all of those doors are still closed? Are you doing anything in the meantime? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on them. <laughs> and waiting on them. Okay. I mean, it can't go more than 100 feet from them. So. And, well, I'm on the balcony over the courtyard, so mm -hmm. Oh, you follow them? Nah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all, they're all good. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Uh, I go to one near the end of the hallway. All or right. The, the one at the very end I'm, on the I'm right. basically constantly staying near him just in case anything pops out. I mean, uh, yes, we're, we're, in a, we're in our event 
entering order. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, so I go to the furthest door on the right. All right. So the furthest door on the right, you do see that this one seems to be a more grander. Uh, sort of guest room. It has a double, uh, it has like a queen size bed. Um, this one actually seems to have a little bit more furnishing. Uh, it has a few more dressers. Uh, it has its own private bathroom. But strangely enough, this one actually seems a little bit more pristine than the rest. The, the linens and drapes are still ripped, but it doesn't seem like this one is as integrally damaged as the rest of the rooms that you've been in so far. Oh. At least the rest of the bedrooms. This one seems oddly taken care of. Oh. Investigation? Search. Investigation? Yeah. I'm gonna investigate the dresser. Right. I will assist! Mm -hmm. So you get advantage. Um, 17 or... 17. <laughs> <laughs> um, you Still investigate the dresser and... Probably one of the first things that you know is through the cracks of this room there is a little bit of that vegetation that's just slightly popping out of a few of the holes that's coming into the room. But upon approaching the dresser and searching it, there are no clothes, but there is a red inlaid diary. Ooh. I'm gonna pick it up and read it. All right, so a lot of the pages are completely worn out. The writing is almost uh, illegible if not from somebody not writing correctly, or the ink itself has just died out over the time period it has been. But there is one entry that is very close to the end, and you can only get little bits and pieces of it, but the general, the general gist of what it states is something along the lines of, there was a young daughter who used to live in this castle. A young daughter. And... She was part of the family that used to live here, the Lord and Lady. No name for mentioned. Um, but there was a mysterious creature during the war that invaded the castle and took it hostile. What ended up happening was the people of the castle started to go mad, including her, which is pseudo why part of it is illegible, because anything after that is just pure scribbles. Huh. And at the very last page, that pulsing vegetation, there's a handprint pulsing on the last page. An inlaid black handprint uh, that is pulsing on the last page. I, you know what? I'm gonna take the... No, we're going. I'm gonna take five minutes. I'm sorry, what, what did you say? Oh, we heard a beep, but they're all good. Oh, we heard oh, oh, blinking. Hmm? Yeah, there, there's an occasional beat, but nothing's changing. All right, just just keep keep a lookout. I'm gonna take Yay. guys. Can I, I need four minutes. Hmm? I'm gonna do detect magic on the book. All right. In the meantime, I'll be. Are there any other entrances, exits to this room? Not to this room now. Okay. I'll, I'll, there's other rooms. I'm like focusing it on the book. Mm -hmm. I'll be I'll be guarding the entrance by then. All right. Uh, you are detecting that there is no magic coming from this book. It is just corruption. Yeah. Get another, tear off a bedroll, <laughs> wrap it up, put it in. All right. <laughs> well, you have the bedding. I, know, I have a whole entire bedroll, and yeah. I've basically prepared to wrap up any books we find. <laughs> Let's take this carcass and just... <laughs> Perfect. Anything I can't carry, I'm putting in my backpack. All right. Anything else? Um, was there anything else in the room? Oh, I mean... A, Guys, about the book, since I was the only one reading it. Why didn't you read it aloud? So, oh man, I guess I could go back through and read it aloud. Well, basically what happened is there was a creature in the castle that made everyone go mad, and there's also a pulsing handprint in it. Mm, more, co it. more corruption, I assume? More corruption. I'm keeping it nice and packed up. Oh. <laughs> so basically, everyone, some kind of curse made everyone go bad is my best guess. I mean, I figured there was already a curse on this place, considering the village, but I, well, I guess now we know. Make a perception check. I guess now we know where it originated. Oh, God damn it. Seven. Give me a sec, I don't know what's plus. Eleven. You feel 
An item of that you're carrying is just a little bit heavier. I'm going to check my jar. Check the jar, and the, it's still in that handle formation. I'm going to check the diary. It, the diary has not changed since you last put it I'm in. I'm going to check the other book. No, the book is fine, but when you when you go back to the jar, you do recognize it's a little bit oh. heavier than normal. I'm going to investigate the dirt. All right. Um, what, what exactly are you going to investigate? Are you just going to look at it? Uh, well, I know it was pristine dirt. I'm going to see how corrupted the dirt has become. The dirt on the outside of the jar looks perfectly fine. Shaking. Shaking it around, you now see that the inlaid handle leads to a pseudo-cylinder of black tar. Oh, shit. It corrupts fast. <laughs> Do you think this is going to be able to hold it? Is it, does it look like it's going out or just filling? It's it's replacing. The glass? It's no. replacing the dirt. The dirt, okay. It looks... Uh... Are you sure you want to carry that? Nope. <laughs> Everyone, if you have tar on you, we need to get it off as soon as possible. It seems... Just do like a quick check on our yeah. yeah, it's it's quick. Tar. Double check. I know it has been <laughs> earlier. I haven't been able check. to touch any of the enemies, no, we've so been I'll let you know. Check everyone right now. <laughs> Got it. Wait. Make sure there is no tar. Everybody drop your pants. Make sure you're all okay. No, I'm ch check your weapons. Cavity check check your boots. Car. Drop your pants. That's and not the what I'm saying. Your pants. When I want everybody, your pants. everybody is good. Well, I'm not going to check you after that. Everybody, everybody has been cavity search for tar. Do I have to roll anything to perceive that this definitely affects, um, or dirt isn't living, so never mind. Um, natural things, and not, like, man-made? That would probably be another arcane. Arcane? Okay. Good dice right there. I'm using a different one, because okay. I'm rolling low. You said arcane? Um, that's 18. You feel like anything that has nutrients okay. might be susceptible. So glass is not susceptible. Hey guys, this stuff seems to affect anything with nutrients, so... Anything with... like food? Dirt, food, skin... You so can't eat dirt. It's... it's... Plants eat dirt? How do I... Okay, <laughs> I've heard... <laughs> I suppose plants do eat Yes, <laughs> they do. Thank I mean, you, this Saber. is a plant. Thank you, Saber. <laughs> so, basically, if any of this gets on your skin, you need to get off immediately, or, you know, just tap me on the shoulder to clean you. Trust me, it was on my flesh. I don't want it on there again. I don't, this is just a warning that this shit does work fast. It's, I don't want that in my phone. You know, on that note, I'm going to take some of my wrappings and, and extra <laughs> yeah. my arms. That's a good point. Everyone I'm just, just going to get a hazmat <laughs> suit. <laughs> okay, at that note, I think, was there anything else in the room? Nothing a viable note, no. Okay, we are good to move on. Alright, uh... We learned some stuff, and now this place is even creepier. Let's move! <laughs> Wait, I think I should cover myself, because my forearms and my face are very exposed. <laughs> so are mine, but actually... But you also have magic armor. You, have, you, 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 you currently have mage armor. You, you have mage oh, armor. It oh, is yeah, coaching you in a... it's been like... How long has it been? Eight hours. Like, eight hours. No, like, no, it takes no, eight no, hours. No, the bat mage armor lasts for one hour. Yeah. Eight hours. Wait, eight hours. Eight hours. Made eight hours last for eight uh, hours. Trust me, I've yeah. used it a lot. I know. You know what, I might... I no, I won't cast it on me, I'm wearing armor. It's a gift. But with Magic uh, hazmat suit. Also, keep in mind that, uh... What was I going to say? You were saying about... What did you just mention? <laughs> I was talking about covering myself up. Ah. You have to realize that you are, you're are you more of a ranged fighter, so you don't have to worry about the tar getting on you from But that doesn't hitting. mean I can't reduce the risk. No, like, that is like, absolutely correct. Would, but you, still. would you like some of mine? I, well, it was basically a, a, <laughs> a, a extra, an extra long roll of, of just... Basically, he has two mummies worth of tape that you can wrap around. <laughs> oh, boy! It's not about so much tape, but... <laughs> yeah, it's it's gauze or whatever. And then uh, Saber open up the next room once they're done. Like, All right. Well, uh, there would be no more rooms down this hallway, but Except there the is other the other... We'll go downstairs and go over there. There is the other... Um... We'll go over there. Oh, right. Well, there is a, um... What was it? In the, uh... I forget. In the dining hall, were there doors in that other than what was there? There was one door all the way on the other side. Okay. Well, maybe we could try... My hypothesis is that leads to the kitchen. 
so. Oh, I don't. Well, no, the, I, don't, I don't think the they kitchen, were connected there. The kitchen didn't have any doors. They would, on, they no. would not have connected there. No. Okay. The no. two, the two doors that you entered, this one led off into the grand hall. This well, one led off into the kitchen. Let's try one of the also. New side rooms. note: If you ever seen like a a, a movie that takes place in the castle, you never see Time. them walk through a door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> let's go to one of the new rooms. Oh, so. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They usually don't separate hallways that explicitly, but... Yeah. Hey, sorry. Not, so this area is just completely cut off? Or is there for more second floor to explore? No, there's more second floor. You guys, oh, okay. you guys oh, went on the mind. entire northern hallway. You made it to the end, and you see a second spiral staircase that goes back down. Yeah. Okay. Well, well let's go well. to one of the other... Exploration! You, you also see when you get to this end of the hall... There's another hallway that goes south again. So you've been oh. all through here. There's this hallway. There's this hallway. Yes. All right. I guess we'll go down. So are you going the hallway that goes south on the east side or on the west side? I say I'm following Saber until he opens the door. Hmm. I guess I will go to the east side. All right. So if you're going on the east side, you're going to stay on the side that you went. Now you do see at the end of this hallway, there is the collapsed tower. So halfway down this hallway is all rubble that has encased itself in the hallway from the falling tower, and you cannot get past that. There is only one door on the left-hand side that proceeds down the rest of this hallway. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, go, I'll open the door then. All right, uh, opening up that door, you do see, as soon as you open it, it is another guest room, but this entire part uh, of the outer wall has been collapsed outward. So most of this, uh, most of this room is actually been uh, eroded through. Huh. So we can actually see the floor below us. You you can partially see the floor below us uh, below you because like on the very most out of the floor has been outcaved, but it's more or less the wall has been falling down. Mm. It only clipped a little bit of the floor. I'll take it. I recognize it anyway. All right, sure. Not my day. You want me to assist? Because <laughs> I open the door and I'm looking. If you're there. Yep. So, All right, uh, so roll again. Uh, Thirteen. Yeah. Uh, you do see that the room underneath you is lit. Mm. Cool. Uh, huh. Hard just to just jump out. No. Hard to dis hard to distinguish. Lit, bam. Uh. Okay. Uh, well, it's strange that these flames continue. Mm. Did they? Do you think they're being sustained, or do you think they just continue? I don't ask why flames and dungeons are kept lit. I think... Uh, I've been through enough dungeons to know they are just lit. Well, I think this place no. does have someone here. First of all, that room looks like it's been taken care of to the point where it hasn't been destroyed. Well, we know this... Then there's flames lit, and then there was a beam that shot into the sky, which means there's some activity here. The beam obviously leads me to believe that there is some necromancer, probably, or some follower of the Shadow Dragon keeping this place running. Maybe it's the dimension device? Hmm. A device couldn't do this, but someone with magic could. All right. Well, at least I hope a device well, couldn't do that, this. That room is definitely not one we should go to. Huh? Okay. That's that's a, that, that room is leave. definitely not <laughs> one we should uh, go to. So we uh, we head back because we can't continue down the hallway. No, you cannot. No. So we go we go back, and I guess I'll take the southern way. So you want to go on the other side, the western side? Uh, you do see two more doors down this way, and then a, a two more doors on the right-hand side and one door on the left. Uh, I guess I will take the first door on the right. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the first door on the right-hand side seems to be a sort of a study hall. This does have some books, but probably only like a single stack. Most of the other area is just inlaid chairs, uh, another fireplace for... Uh, commercial use. Is this one Why did I say commercial use? Um, the, <laughs> the fireplace is not lit, but there is several candles that are lit on a few of the tables. That is disturbing. I'll go Can I here, see the here. state of the books, or do I need to check? I'll it, it, it's a singular pile of books. I'll check and Do the they books. look intact, or are they... They do seem mostly intact, yes. Okay. I'm going to do one thing for Tourette really quick. Um, guard the room. I'll need four minutes. Detect magic on the candle. Um... They are candles. I see, what? I'm detecting magic to see if there are any magic keeping them lit. They are candles that are lit. They are normal candles. Yep. Okay. All right, so, certainly something and now there. I'm going to sit down and read. We'll skim through it. What languages do you know? 
Draconic, Elven, um, uh, what is that evil one? Not Abyssal. Uh, Infer Infernal. Infernal. And Common. Okay. Oh. What do you read? Uh, Celestial and Sylvan. You? Orc. Uh, I'm pretty sure, um, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure he would probably know Dwarven and Orcish. Yeah. With me? No, no, no oh. I'm saying Oscar. Oh, Oscar. Oh, I do know Dwarven. We, cho we, cho we chose an extra yes. language yeah. for you. But he's half Orc, half Dwarf, so he would probably well, know. Well, yeah, I'm just um, making sure. What would you know? I know Draconic, Common, and Primordial. Blech, 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 blech. I just rechecked. It is not, it is Dwarf. It is Dwarf? It was, that was, um, uh, Armstrong. Armstrong to Abyssal. I know Dwarven. So, what are the languages you know? <laughs> yeah, I mixed up my two characters. What it are the languages you know? Elven, Dwarven, Draconic, and Common. Fuck my memory. Infernal? Common. There's one more thing other than Common. Oh, I thought you said Infernal. Because that, that thing, infernal. the class, oh, not infernal. it isn't okay. a dark language. The class mm. that I got gave me an extra language. But I just, you could check on your normal page. It's under character details. It is? Yeah. <laughs> you guys understand why I use paper? Yeah. <laughs> well, this I understand works a lot the, better for combat. I understand this. It's just that it might work better a, for you. Uh, I can do math Character math details. There you Dwarven, go. common, elven, draconic. Yeah. Yep, there you go. You were, and you, a, you all skim through this book, and it is all foreign language. Whoa. Oh. None of you can recognize the script. Might be it might be infernal in that case that place if this place is corrupted that I bad. I can't remember what the life of me what the other one was because I didn't write it down. Well mm -hmm. I'll I'll figure that out another day. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. do are they all written in that? They are all written in that. These books seem to be a singled out and put in this are they particular clean? place. They're not clean as in the sense that somebody's tried to keep them clean, but they are more or less used to the point that somebody wants to not make them be in a disheveled condition. You know what? Let me just take out my rope and grappling hook, my water skin, and fit as many as I can in there. All right, so you're just piling books into your bag. Yep. All right. Wait, right, you're going to leave all that stuff behind? No, Scar? Mind picking up my rope? All right. <laughs> oh God, he, he has the best carry capacity we're, out of all we of need you. To, we need to have him Victor, do his... Victor, do you want to carry my water skin? Sure. Can, can we get a soundboard sure. for him so that way whenever he's not here? No. no. <laughs> I'm going to... All right. Uh, now let's continue while any, I see if I wrote down what that other language right. was. All right. Yeah. Any other entrances and exits? Nope. Right. I will check the second door on the right then. This room is a 20 by 30 foot room completely void of anything. Like just walls it is and a floor. Completely empty, just walls and a floor. No lights, no anything. Uh, hey, Maximus. Yep. There seems to be nothing in here. There's never nothing. What? What? I, 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 no, I, no, no. I walk up and I go. There's never nothing. <laughs> Everyone, back up a bit. Do you want to detect oh, yeah, well, something? It's like it's Deep. entirely shrouded in darkness, or there really is nothing in there. No, there's it's, just, it's it's walls not and a floor. lit. You, as soon as you open it, you do not see anything except for four walls, a ceiling, and a roof. Can I tell you? dark vision, so, so I'll be able to is see it alone. darkness, or just... No. No, it's just not lit. It's just not lit. That's just an added thing. Would lit. anyone yeah, like yeah, to look in there while I'm looking something up? I'm reading through a book right now. From one of the books that you picked up? No, my imaginary book to figure out what my other language was. You're the only one here at Firebase Magic, though. Fine! Light torch! Yeah. yeah. I just remembered I have light. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Snuff torch! <laughs> and technically, can't your, can't your fairy cast, like, light as a cantrip or something? Yes, she can. Yeah, but so, then... Yeah. Minimus! The day, no, no, can't... No, no, cantrips? Okay. Cantrips are different than the spell. Yeah, Ooh. I'll just... I'll uh, take out my oh. quarter staff and cast light on it. Uh, oh, uh, on the fairy? You, it can't be living things. No, uh, not, on his not quarter staff. My quarter staff. Um, okay, okay. What? I can tell you oh, the exact you got, spell. You were concerned about light? I thought you were concerned about traps or evil. I was concerned about him detecting magic. Now that's what I was concerned about. <laughs> it's, an empty, <laughs> it's an empty room. I'll detect magic. 
Okay. There's nothing in there. Wow. I'll be right back. Sit back down. I'm going to try and pull my quarters that pull my quarters half in there to see if I right. anything happens. I'm doing this. You, you have lit a dim room. I pull it out. Yeah, there's a Guys, I don't think there's anything Why in this room. Why is there just an empty room? I because it's an abandoned you know, castle. Fair, fair, fair enough. enough. If you're willing to spend the time, we can still scour the walls. Uh, sure. All right. Um, I'll it really doesn't matter, does it? You you roll better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what are we rolling for? Uh, investigation, pressure plates, cracks, yeah. anything. Yeah. Okay. Anything that moves that shouldn't move. <laughs> That is a 16. Okay. I am correct. Gives me an extra language. Nothing seems to be moving. Nothing floor, nothing ceiling, nothing walls. There really is just nothing about this room. I swear to God. Is it just an empty room? It's just laid in dust. Guys, that's the most interesting room in the castle. No, (laughs) it's not. I'm joking. I'm joking. So, Um, there is one thing in particular while looking on the ground. Wait. Almost in the center of the room seems to be just black scuff marks in just a weird circular pattern. Everyone back up. That is not good. Hmm? Why like did we not see this before when we were inspecting Well, it's, 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 it's dark or black. But we all have night vision, don't we? It's, it's very, like, it's almost if you just scratched a stone... It's like seeing it's very faint. It's like oh, seeing, yeah, it's like seeing see. gray on gray. I yeah. see. Okay. It looks like something's been moved here. It, it seems to be like a giant circle and just outwards, a few scratches in a circular pattern. I'm not sure what this is. Maximus? Yes? Is this something you're familiar with? And it was whatever that dark language was. Infernal? Yes. Okay. It was infernal. Okay. I just, it makes I, it makes sense. We I, just want to be sure. Yeah. So you do know Infernal. I do know Infernal. You still okay. can't read it. I know, but I wanted <laughs> to know what I could read. What languages I knew. Okay. Thank you. That was so, like, you know what? I'm going to go over to the scuff mark, look at it, and investigate it. All right. With the help of my pixie. All right. Oh, that would be... I just realized he has like a cherry on one advantage roll. Well, there it goes now. 21. From your sense of understanding of circular and patterns, this is a magic circle. Not a magic circle. Okay. <laughs> Just something happened long ago that left explosion marks. Oh shit! I have. He knows what it is. Isn't it in the shape of a human? No, it's it's, <laughs> it's a circle, circle. Okay. It's like a clean circle that at the rim has a little bit of black scuff marks. Oh. So something left some sort of explosion that oh, had a circle, uh, kind of circular. Stuff. I'm gonna have. Yep. I'm gonna light a torch, set it Weird somewhere, light. and I'm gonna have my pixie cast light on the hammer and start. I'm gonna really. This thing interests me. I want to figure out if it was a spell or not. You couldn't detect any magic with it. It's just scuff marks. This room is quite interesting. Scuff it's marks, interesting but no how damage it's damage itself to the floor. Just like a little inlaid scratch on the floor, yeah. I'm gonna check the ceiling. Well, is there one up there? Whatever caused these box could be why it's empty, but it doesn't seem there's any reason to be keeping us here. Let's go to the next room. room. So we go to the left, left room. Wait, you... do you check? Do you know if there's any gunpowder or anything since you're familiar with it? It would probably uh, be gone by now. The gunpowder wasn't invented that long ago. A history check. Oh. Like the explosive stuff. Eighteen plus eight. <laughs> you are not familiar with these lands if they knew about gunpowder. I do not know if they knew about gunpowder. Well, I'm a magician, so yeah, from what you can more. assume, from the places you have been in this area, mm-hmm. you do know that Kunai has found gunpowder, mm-hmm. but you can also safely assume that Kunai has not been around for a hundred years. Yeah. So mm. you probably could assume from the locations you've been, gunpowder has not been known for that long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, almost certain. I'm not going to give 100%. Even though I wasn't live back then, I wasn't here. There was no gunpowder, so it was probably magical. Mm. Knowing dwarves, they might have had it, but... Alright, so I'm going to the left so room. Uh, you, once again, see yourself on the balcony, overlooking the courtyard. Is that the end of the second floor? Seems to be. 
Well, let's head downstairs. Let's retrace our steps. We can, can we can search more rooms. All right. It's like before, except with twenty more books. These <laughs> books annoy me that I can't read them. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps we can find someone in town who knows the language. No, perhaps someone, right, perhaps we'll someone in back. Uh, uh, back marching back. order. Oh, actually, sorry. So you have this end of the hallway, which just stops. You have the stairway that you came down from, and then you have the stairway at the other end of the hall. Oh. Should we try the new one? I suppose. I think it's going to be safer than me, than whoever else is behind us. Oh, Do you mind putting yourself in a line? Did It'd we go to another balcony? balcony? And then yes. Maximus. Oh, same thing again. And then me, because Maximus is no safe. Difference. No difference? Yep. Okay. Minimus and then you see, like, key traffic is a grass. Behind. If you're There's no grass. Right. Then, um, Wait, is that a good idea? I'm taking the front because I opened the mind. All right, Wait, so but is it a good idea to have Oscar in the back because he's our yes. only one that's limited in his range? It's called Vanguard. Yes. yes. Yeah. He's All basically right. he can protect anything that comes from behind you. All right. All right. Um. So you guys going down the old staircase or the new staircase? The mm -hmm. new yep. one. All right. Uh, approaching down this staircase, you do see a little twenty foot hallway in front of you, and there is a door at the end of it. I guess let's go check it. It is yeah. not locked. I check for traps real quick. Yeah, the I died. Not, 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 not eighteen. All right. Um, not trapped. You going inside? Yep. I'll help right. with the perception. I, yeah. Viewing inside this room, it is another uh, twenty by fifty foot inlaid room, but you see several rows of pews with a tiny stone altar all the way at the far inside, and instead of torches, you have separate um, stands of fire sconces that are lit. And on a few of the pews, you do see several, uh, in total, you see five skeletal guards just laid across different places. But at the end, particularly kneeling at the altar, you do see two full-on plated knights. Human? Or just alive? Skeleton. Ah, Skeleton. Let's back up, let's back up, let's I mean, back up. up. Alright, so. Let's back up, let's do, back do up. I, so should I convey that to everyone? Yep. Please do. Okay, so I, clo I close it back. Uh, can I use stealth to make sure they don't see me going back yes. this time? Yeah, that's what got us last <laughs> time, I noticed. Or it wouldn't have advantage, so. It's just, yep. Yep. That is, uh. Over 20. Roll. All right. Well, he's rolling for a stealth check. Yeah, so they have to roll for perception. No, stealth is. I know. I know. I, okay. I didn't say that. That oh, was specifically that's, that's for right. that. Sorry. That's right. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So I go back. Uh, I, I close the door and I turn back towards everyone. And I say, "Okay, it seems to be a very religious area, but there's gods in there. <laughs> Some of." Oh, that's not good. You see that? So I'm very close to you. I we need to stop. Stop, 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 stop. Can I roll to perceive, like, well, in what direction it, it, was, it origin, no. originated from? It seems to be in a very close vicinity that just echoes throughout these walls. That's okay. We need I go, think we found the source we of We need to go theme. forward. You don't say. We need to go <laughs> forward. Okay, now would be a good time to activate no. the Ring of Protection. <laughs> 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 so, some, of, some of the people in there do look quite strong, so be prepared. Well, I have one very large spell left. Why, why do we need to go in? Are there other doors? Uh, did I see any other doors in there? Immediately to the left, you did see another door. Another wooden door. I feel like we need to go... Uh, aside from the church one, it would be too... If you have a big death so beam of evil, you, it's guarded. If, if we were to take this room again, that door that you just left, mirror it, and it's that other door. Okay. So, uh... It looks I suspiciously see. like the room we... Like the room next to the other staircase. Hmm? I guess. I guess. It's I almost will. like castles have symmetry. I guess almost I'll, like. I guess I'll. Peek, I guess I'll peek inside that one. Oh, yes. you're going back into no, that room. No. Oh no! I see. We're no, going I get what you're saying. It's no, what you're it's the exact same representation of this room, do but we, do we want to bother? It's the uh, yes. it's the this mirror room, side. I, do we want to bother fighting? The room yes. seemed very the, crucial. Did you not just hear that? And it's well, close by. The room seemed. I'm saying we could just run through and close the door behind us. They'll chase us. You don't know that. They're skeletons. But also, this place does they're, seem very... These, thing, these, yeah. things are, these things are bound to their place. 
Have you not noticed? However, if this place does is actually important in solving our little dilemma, then we might have no choice. So, because mm. if they are firing such a magical oh, pulse oh, through here, then favor, let's just take a vote. All in favor of going in and confront confronting them, raise your hand. Oscar says, "What? What are you, what are you talking about? This is a boat." This ain't no democracy. Oscar would want to kill undead. Personally so saying, he Oscar would probably want to kill, kill undead. Anyone else raise their hand with me and Oscar? Uh, and I. <laughs> and who wants to just run through it? Very well. Indifferent, huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think either is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright. Who's, who's doing what? Well, I'm definitely not going in well, first. Wait, well, then, can you tell me where well, then, the guys, and the big ones were? Uh, I relay to him that they are near the altar. At what? the far end of the room. At the far end of the room. Open the door for me. Wait, hold it. If we're really doing this, if we're attacking them, I want to activate my ring of protection. Alright, roll 1d4. And I need you to open the door for me after that. Okay. Alright. Can we, like, ready a charge? Two days. Not bad. You have two days Guys? on yours. What? Um, you can, there, there really isn't surprise rounds in 5e. Can it be four? So you can just know what you're going to do on your turn. Here's the plan. Okay. The one person does get a free action to, during that round. You don't all simultaneously get some, ah, it's just one person does get one free action. Okay. So what we need to do is you need to get, did you tell me there's two of them? Yeah. We need to get those two guys. But there is surprise. And... Do, no, we looked it up. No. We, we will read over we're that in later. RP, we're in RP, we're going. I need you guys to somehow get those two guys in a straight line. That is not going to happen. They are knights. Also, they move quite slowly. Then, let's just open it up, and I'm going to hit the one on the left. I would more, I'd much prefer you use something that would hit all of them. I don't have something that can hit all of them. Victor, do you have anything that Victor? has... I have. I assume that this was your special. Can I buy that scroll of fireball? <laughs> the best I. Do you have it written down? The best I have. That, that one was two hundred gold. Yes, I, I did. If you had it written down, yes, then you have I do have something that can hit a bunch of things at once. Oh, okay. where's the paper towel? Tell, tell us what you have, sorry. This I have right now is. The Somebody ray. take downstairs the paper towels. I also have haste. I did not. Didn't take them down. I don't think. Haste. Could you? What did that do? It gives anyone anyone I target plus two in AC and an extra attack. Can you give that to me? Because I have a plan that might work. Oh, well, right. I don't see them, so... Just but keep in mind, it only lasts Perfect. for a minute, and when that minute is up, you're going to go into lethargy. The min this battle will not take that. And I need you to stay back, because I know this is concentration. Spell. Such a powerful mm. spell for such a short time. It's a, very, it's a pretty powerful spell. Did, I Victor, did you hear me? I need to just stay yeah, back. I don't get hit. And I get okay. plus two to AC. Okay. And an extra attack, so I get three hits. Mm. Wait, hold on. Just want to double check. Oh, by the way, we're kind of off camera right now, so. Oh yeah. Don't say right. anything important. Here, <laughs> this is what you get. Plus two AC. Advantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay. It gains an additional attack in each turn, which can either be attack, one weapon only. That's okay. Dash, disengage, hide, or an object action. Which means you could like use a. Can someone yeah. pull a fireball you for me? You cannot use a spell attack. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm okay. if you're gonna start off with the spell, it'd kind of be hindering. Fireball, deck save, we right now. I'm, I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna need to be in front of you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going in first. Fireball, one hundred fifty rogue. foot range, instantaneous. Uh, twenty foot, door. twenty foot sphere. Uh, any targets take eight I, eight dice six on a fail. Cool. Okay. This fire spreads around corners. It or ignites flame. Like, it uh, fuse. Features, or what they're called. So, fuse. 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 That's what they're called. 8d6. Wow. It's it's a giant ball of fire. Yes. Level 3? Yes. Like a, yeah. Oh, I chose lightning bolt because I like lightning better, but I did buy one. You're going to use a level 3 on a single enemy? No. no. I'm no. using it on How many enemies are in this room, Adam? Uh, there is Seven. five guards and two knights. Yes. Pass Seven. me a dice. I'll put them down. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Okay. The two of them are... I'm going to assume it's very high level. Well, they're just different. Not necessarily. Well, high. not even necessarily high level. Just more difficult. More difficult. More difficult than the mages. I'm yeah. going to smash those two big. Like, ones. look at that. That's a three on the die. 
That's like one more than the main. We're playing in the corner. Exactly. So What's like staying in the corner? <laughs> Here, corner here's, here's my plan. Here's my battle plan. Saber, Victor, stay back, ranged. Oscar. Dreadkey. Dreadkey! You're gonna follow me up and take the guys who come after me after I run in like a maniac. I'll try my best. And I'm gonna shoot a big ball of fire at the big plate dudes. Uh, Such a detailed. <laughs> <laughs> And then All we right. go from there. Alright. At the, at the, at the... I'm gonna shoot fire. You're all down this hallway. Just saying. So yeah, we're gonna change order now. That, that's what I'm saying. Is I'm gonna be here. Wait. Uh, we're gonna be right behind Oscar him. will... Oscar will... Right, right behind... No, I'm behind him. Yeah, Oscar and Dreadkey would be very near. Okay. And then... Uh, something else I should mention is keep watch of where you're standing before I can even cast haste. Because I only have a range of 60 feet. You will cast it now. You're gonna it's, but it's oh. we're, it it is very powerful. Right. I'm about to open the door. As soon as I open the door, I'm casting fireball All right. at the pew, because that's where he said the two big guys were. You open the room, there's skeletons, you cast fireball. You cast the fireball. Okay. Okay, I open the door. Wait, hold on. Okay, you, hold on. You said you wanted me to cast haste on you, didn't you? Yes! Didn't okay. you know where to do that? No, I didn't yet, because that requires a wild magic roll. Does undead have resistance oh, to fire? that's right. I don't know. I'm trying to open up something big because they're two plate guys. Can we continue? Okay. So I cast haste on you. Thank you. you. Roll and now roll a magic roll. Nothing it's a happens. one. Nothing happens. You, you and feel... We, and we proceed. As odd as you don't know how a color feels, you feel red. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can okay, taste it. Hey, right and your hair kind of like moves on its own now. I can uh, taste the purple I'm Holding hair. my hammer. And you can just see a glint of fire in my hand. You definitely feel more pulsing in your scar on your face. I'll tell you what oh! I think it's a reference to later. Open. Alright. Is that how it looks? Yep. Fireball. Alright. Why? I'm dead. Why? Oh, for initiative. Why not? Because fireball hits everything in its sphere. Yes! Oh, which includes pew. Roll for initiative. Which includes pew. I'm saying hit as many as you can. I just did. It's a 20 foot God range. damn it. Okay, go. Adam, your luck on initiative is rubbing off on me. I hit as many as I could. Even hit three. Okay. Less pitiful. All right. Twenty-five to twenty. I'm oh, sorry. One two. Same thing as last time, then. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. Twenty to fifteen. I'll score eighteen. Fifteen to ten. Directly thirteen. Eleven. It's the same order as last time. Why? <laughs> Ten to five. Five to one. Four. All right. It's the uh, same order four. as last time. All right. So that was. Next stage. I got the same amount. No. I guess I'm just rolling for their initiative. Okay. What? No, I'm just there. I did it! I'm trying to phase you out, I'm sorry, I was just. Shut up. Shut up. Oh boy. Let's see what fire. Alright, so, Maximus, yes, you definitely get your attack first. So, dexterity save? Yep. And you're hitting the two knights? Yep, unless the haste increases anything, it's a dex save of 16. I don't know. I'm no, it just point. increases your stamina. All right, so the one on the left doesn't make it. So the one on the right does. Okay. I can add them up. Oh boy. Okay. Five, six, yeah, eleven, like the fourteen, six, twenty, twenty-six. All right. So twenty-six and thirteen. That actually worked out pretty evenly. That's that's good damage. That oh, I rolled. I need to roll one more. Okay, do it. Cheater. <laughs> so that'd be twenty nine. So oh, twenty nine and fourteen because it's rounded down. Giant fireball goes past the pews and hits in between the two. One gets blasted off to the side and almost falls to the ground. The other gets blasted in the face and shoves it off. 
and both of them now face down in your direction, down the hallway, as the other guards just start shambling up from their pews and slowly start turning toward your direction. Oscar. Okay. You interrupted our Sunday prayers. How dare you interrupt us on the Sabbath? You do notice that the knights are entirely black skulled. What does that mean? The, the skulls are entirely encased in tar. Okay. Woo! Well. So we can't even see their skeletons then. No, no, no. Like you, their you can. Their skulls are black. It's like inlaid into it. Oh, it's etched into. Like I it's still see. bubbly, like the vegetation was. I see. Up. Nothing of interest. 5, 10, 15, 20. And we'll start with and we'll start with two and we'll start with two attacks against that one. Got it. Uh 25s? Both? Yeah. <laughs> no, that misses. Horribly. Alright. 17. That'd be bad. Mm, uh, together? Yeah. <laughs> it, it takes out part of the pew as you do, um, type? Bludgeoning. Bludgeoning? As you just slam down the pew and just, like, destroy half of it, and now half the pew is just laying flat amongst the ground. Oscar, sometime, somewhere, had a really good cup of coffee. And then you move, and then that is, I think, out of you. Anything else? Mm, nope, no, that's her. Alright, key! Does haste give me extra movement? Uh, no. No, no. it does not. We thought it did Ironically. <laughs> Ironically enough, it does not give you a, a boost in speed. But hey, extra action is worth it. I know. Yeah. Uh, which of these seems worse for wear? Uh, the one on the left hand side, it's the one you're directly in front of. Oh, sweet. So, so you I'll... can technically dash. I'll start. Well, you can dash as long as you start with two attacks so. against this one. And if you do have an increase in speed, it does take the extra action. So I can't take my third attack. Um, oh, no, no, no. You can. It just. 12 and a 16. Your extra action can be an attack. Both of them dash. The first you one, you swing past its head. The second one, you clatter against its uh, plate armor. Step of the wind, I am dodging. Alright. You can. You just have to decide between either speed or attack. Oh my gosh, I'm still stickered from earlier. Stickered? Hmm. The stuff from the bushes. Oh. It's on my pants. The one that's in front of you is going to stay in your position. That oh. is one fast moving thing. In plate it's, armor? It's going to take... foot range. It's oh, yeah. going to take its giant great sword and charge directly at Oscar. So the one that's mm. attacking you... Nope. So I get so I get my opportunity attack. You do get your attack. Alright. 17. Misses. You try and trip it, but you bang off of its, uh, off of its chin armor. Yeah. Alright. So, it's going to attack Oscar with two great sword swings. 16. And a natural 20. Oof, one hit. Oh, man. One hit. Ooh, dear. So it takes its first swing down, and he deflects it with the buckler, but he doesn't assume that it's taking a second hit, as it swings up and cleaves right into his, uh, cleaves right into the side of his torso for... 12 damage. Dang. Okay. Well, Scott is tank. Well, Scott is not to move. That tickled. <laughs> 52 health left, yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's, uh, and then health. the next one is going to take two attacks at you at disadvantage because you're preparing dodge. That is. a 9. And then the second swing. Is an 11. AC 19. Got it. Oh. On AC. Uh, uh, Saber! Can say. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Whew. Hmm. Thank you, Key, 
for making me dodgy. <laughs> Against three, against three, against three. Right. 
Yeah. Yeah, you just like dent it in just you, you it's like nail. Pum 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 Yes and no. You can tell it to help Oscar, but you need to tell it specifically which one to target for a distraction. Oh, um... Because Oscar cannot tell it, oh, fight this skeleton. You have to say, distract this skeleton. This one. So that anybody can technically... Alright, so it is currently distracting that one. Thanks. But it is now Oscar's turn. Yes. Herm to Herm, big guy's Start dead, to these around. things fall pretty dang easy. Well, I did kind of... This is 40 damage. That was 40 plus the original 20. That's something. more than his usual lightning bolt was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah we're just. Eight turns up before the there's... haste wears off. Absolutely, that's a quiet word. Absolutely no that. reason. Um, well, we'll do it. We'll, since, since it's opportune, we'll have the first attack against the distracted one. Bludgeoning. Uh, let's see. 24. Yep. That one hits. Roll for damage. Uh, I'm so glad I have three attacks. Uh, Nail. Uh, 14. Alright, that one's dead. Do you mind moving it? Somebody mind moving it? Yep. Just taking a golf swing and taking the chest piece straight out. And we'll, take, and we'll see if we can't take out that other one. Um, uh, 17. That one hits. 10 damage. Alright. And that one is dead. <gasps> this one? Yep. So, 19! <laughs> 20! <laughs> nice all. Me and Oscar are keeping count, I hope! That must have been a really good I'm on 2! I'm on 19! <laughs> um, alright. Key? Alright. You got a lot of stuff you can do. <laughs> uh, I'll start with, I'll, I'll start with my attacks. In first. Alright. Uh, like 12. No. Nope. 23. There we go. Yep. 4 damage. Alright, so that one is still standing. Yep. But you, you kind of like broke off one of its legs, so it's kind of like limping. It's just a flesh wound. still hopping. Oh, wait, it doesn't have flesh. Never mind. No good. Disengage. Disengage? Uh, does that spend a key or yep. not? Yes, it does. Alright. <laughs> Guys? No. <laughs> Alright. This knight is going to charge and attack the closest thing. Uh oh. Nice. No, you're max. I'm in 19 AC right now. <laughs> that 20. <laughs> you're getting. <laughs> Two great sword cleaves at you. Where's okay. my die twenty? Oh boy. Thanks, man. Oh, it's right there. Ah, there we go. The first attack. Nope. Oh. oh wait, I get I get my attack. He's not right next to you. Doesn't have to be. I have whips. Can you switch out whips while you were currently doing fists? I wasn't doing fists. I was doing an art attacks. True, you have your whips out. I always have my whips out. No, wait, doesn't doesn't your thing say within five feet of you? Yes, and it's a redis. It's wrong. They've they've explicitly gone out of their way to change that. And is that every time something misses? That's every time something tries to attack something that's not me. And do you use that as a reaction? I do. So you only get one attack? Yes. Okay. But it will be a stunning one. No, no, that's, that's fine. I'm just saying, like, you do get only one attack per turn. Yep. Wait, I mean... Really need to be. Doesn't matter. Shouldn't 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 waste the key. We'll be fine. Oh, so this... you're just doing it normal? Yeah. Got it. Good thing I didn't. Oh, I, don't, I decided afterwards anyway. Sixteen does not hit. Does not hit. Alright. Nope. That one does not hit either. Nope. Alright. Two swings. Max. Okay. Let's save it. Uh, would say it's a lot of damage, but the damage was done. All right. At least I'm doing my job. Right. Yeah. Yep. You are. Yeah. Right. I get a lot of attacks. You're doing great, Trad King. You're doing great, Trad King.
There. Achievement unlocked. There. I'm going to fire at the big knight. Alright. Oh. Get another one. Yep. I'm a brainlet. Not 20. Sure! <laughs> So how does that work when you're rolling multiple damage? Then? You multiply everything. By two? Yes. Yay! <laughs> a critical sneak attack. Four, eight, four, so that's 16 plus five, 21. <laughs> yeah, do I get the well, hit? Well, no, is it that times two? It is two times two, four times two, two times two plus five. Okay, and so 21, 21 in total. 21 total. Did um, you kill it? We'll see. That was fun though. <laughs> that that arrow rattles through that chest cavity and kind of like ding 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 ding, ding, ding and you just hear bone shattering, but it is still up. Yay! I get the smash. <laughs> uh, nice net twenty. Oh, I like it. guards go. That was a great, great net twenty. Yeah, especially since you were. It, it's. I'm glad it was right next to you, so I get the sneak attack three d six. Uh, saber, you're getting attacked once. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not playing with this dice tower anymore. <laughs> no, uh, you have I'm, to. I'm not. You have to. I am to. not playing with this dice tower anymore. You oh, have Lord. to. Just for today, but not anymore. No, no, yeah. No, nope, nah, nah, don't. What look if we get you a okay. different no. dice tower? Uh, the other one is a. Uh, the other soldier is attacking you. Yep. Nope. I'm not playing with this dice tower. Anymore. I will get you a different one. <laughs> nope. Come on. Yeah. No, let, let, nope. let, no, let him do his thing. Uh, but yeah, it is... I'm pulling show my turn. It is Victor's turn. Come on, some sort uh, of challenge. Let's see, which one I want to yeah, go You're for. nerfing me. This, this has not done me anything. It's, I've rolled that 20 on this thing every time I tested it. You. Up. You're not He me. is unique. Oh, this yeah, is specimen. siphoning out my power. Cutting this <laughs> out, I'm pulling director. I will get you a new dice tower, but you're using a dice tower. I, dice towers are cool. No, that does... That, that, what was that? That, that, that was a natural 14. That doesn't look good. I haven't gotten more than a 14. This what do you mean it doesn't look good? It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't show up. He's just the head. <laughs> yeah, like, he you, you honestly... <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You can't this, even see This is back. my hand can't right here. It sees this. It also that sounds is... better. Yeah, it doesn't... Does it, Do you actually pick up that yes. up? I don't notice I a huge difference. difference. It just sounds like Come cardboard on. instead of I am pulling wood. director. Oh my gosh. Just does we'll it talk about it. Anyway, I'm, I'm still one. I'm still doing it for the rest of the for rest of the session tonight, so you have a long discussion about time. that. I probably should say you can't kinda of see the dice tower in uh, me and Noah's camera. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, well. but just slightly. Yeah. Anyway, moving back onto the game. Yep. I am going to cast Eldritch Blast and finish off this one since he's the only one in my sights. Got it. Uh, we have Stall Sniper. You can fire around the people, but you can't well, fire through walls. Yeah, no. it, this is a single hallway. Yeah. Oh, he's in there still. Yes. Oh my so gosh! First, no. I'm staying, staying away, away just as Maximus Oops. instructed. Oops. <laughs> Damien done it that again. That misses. You want to use one of these? That is a 16. That misses. That misses as well. All right. <laughs> Just right past him. My aim is not on stage. Nice. That's Approach. good armor. You don't say. Ooh. Maximus. Hi. <laughs> you see what I did to your friend? Three attacks. Not an advantage. 16 plus 8. 24, 24 hits. Miss. That would be Nat 19. That so would hit. Okay, yeah. That's two bludgeoning D8. Plus six. Seven. Seven. <laughs> plus six. 11. 11. 18. <laughs> you finish off the rest of them, yep. Yeah. He's yeah. dead. He, he just repeatedly, like, oh, another nail. <laughs> we make a good team. <laughs> Alright, uh, Oscar. Scatters the skull across the board. 
Over here. It is not yours. Alright. Uh, key. Hey! Help me! Yep, do it! Alright. Oh, there you go. Yeah, flank it! <laughs> You're at oh, advantage. Oh no! I know. Uh, Okay. There we go, much better. There's a 25, I can use that. Alright, roll for damage. Oh. Yeah, four damage. Yeah, this guy's still alive. That's not and really a... Uh, yeah, one more. Uh, 24. One nope. hits. Alright. Do it. Seven damage. And that one's out. Yep. Basically, you you do whatever the Street Fighter is, just like pum 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 pum, and you you just knock away its rib cage. I uh, want to search the two big metal guys. Hold on, hold on. Cleaning yeah, first. Thing. Uh, no, hold on. Uh, one thing I should mention. Right now, it is ten thirty. <laughs> no, no, I got it. Yeah. So. Uh, just saying. Clean, we're... cleaning and repairs. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Press on the people. I clean you. Now I want to search the two big guys. That did not feel good on my Cool. Side. They have full-on plate that is entirely coaxed with tar on the inside. I'm searching. Do they have anything on them other than plate? They're weapons. Okay. And they're plate. skeletons. <laughs> I'm, okay, what's, I'm gonna... what's the condition of said weapons? I mean, they seem to also be inlaid with tar. Oh, never mind that. Well, they might add corruption damage. <laughs> I'm not touching those things. Yeah, but then that's also damage for us. <laughs> Uh, it seems to be of a religious icon you do not recognize. Mm. May I roll? May I? Sure. Wait, mm. what's your, uh... What are you rolling what's for? What's your history, I assume? Oh, uh, no. Religion. Religion. Oh, uh, can I yeah. assist? Plus five? Who's... Religion? I got what's your plus five. five. You get plus five, naturally. I have a plus one yeah. Religion. <sighs> Fine. Okay, so. yeah. We give, him, give him the assist. You just know things better than I I'm do. I'm the oldest one yeah, here. To be it's right fair, that I yeah. know all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's a 20. That's 20. You are not familiar with these lines to know of, of that religious icon. No right. clue. Nor I. It, it seems to be like the head of a frog and the body of a horse. They really From were. a very rude depiction of what it is, you're not entirely sure. They truly were mad, weren't they? I'm pretty sure it was here before. In fact, the the etching on the altar seems to be actually scratched in. What does it say? No, like the depiction I just said okay. is like scratched okay, into yeah. the altar. This is probably the mad thing. Hmm? Is the um, I'm going to check the room just perception because I don't know there's what not, I'm looking for. Just check the room for anything related to what was could possibly be going around. Sure. So eh. that is an eighteen. Uh, just seems to be a non-used altar that has been also forgotten through time. Okay. I'll start, checking the, I'll start by checking the new door. Uh, the new door is on the other side. I marked an X because yep. it's, the, oh. it's the mirror side. Alright, uh, so you're checking that door? Yep. I'll be with you. Uh, call that a 14. Alright, so it is not locked. Mm. You wish to go out? Yeah. Make a, make a quick check anyway. Alright, you open up and you see the courtyard. Very off in the distance, walking the grounds, six skeletal figures. Uh, shall I roll for stealth? You can. Uh, you don't need to roll for stealth. They're they're across the other end of the courtyard. Um, so, you do see. So this is the this, this is the far end that we've never explored. No, no, no. You're on the opposite side now. You're on the side close to the vegetation. Huh. Yes, the one opposite of the side we started in. Yes. yes. Okay. Sorry. The the side that you do see. Um, off to the far end, you do see five skeletal guards and one skeletal mage. So they're exploring where we were. And Ooh. the door to the previous room is open. Close door behind us. <laughs> let's wait for them to pass. Then let's move. We just got through it. <laughs> okay. Mm, close quietly. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna the, the, invisibly, um, minimus, wait outside the door. Go ahead and just telepathically tell me when those guys are gone. Alright. Thank you. Close the door. No! Now, now we're hunted. Yeah, they're they all where we once were. Do you want me to do anything else? 
Let Not me... right now. I think any, anyone want Minimus to do anything while she's out there? I figured we'd be moving on soon. They, they, they went up. They went up the little leveled area. And they went past the door there. Okay. Wait, they're gone. Did did they go? Get, did they go through the door we went through? Did they go through the door we went through? Uh, that door was open. Oh. Did we leave any doors open? No. She. <laughs> she <laughs> I'm because asking you, did we leave any doors open? You explicitly upstairs. made her check, remember? Oh, you're right. No, that was, no, that was upstairs. All of them were closed. Okay. That was upstairs. No, it was downstairs. a different room. She's the, saying it was a different room. Okay. The study doors open. The study doors. Oh, shit. They're after my books. Let's go. <laughs> the knowledge it is well, no, gone. Sorry, not, not the study. The, the, the first floor library. library. The library door. They're oh. following our footsteps. Oh, I suppose we are leaving a trail. Yes. Do you want me to go check? Yes, please do. Uh-oh. What? What's uh-oh? The bodies aren't there. The bodies weren't there? They're getting back up. They're getting back up. Which means the ones here... Okay, can I just go and start smashing the bones and everything? You start smashing the bones with these bodies. Yeah, I want them to be Isn't dust. I'm not gonna hit the plate armor. And Smashing bones still is loud! You, you have no choice in that, or unless you plan to pry it off of them. Yeah. Okay. Should I do this? Do you want me to smash them to dust? By the time you can't. by the Good time point. you're done, they'll have found us and these guys probably Take will be heads. up again. The heads that are smashed. Yeah. If, you, if you think that'll work. Uh, I'll well, start we'll, we'll know! Hold we'll on! The heads uh, that are smashed and full of tar. Taking out the head isn't gonna do anything if any, if this is anything like the village. Oh. But still, a headless reanimated warrior is a headless reanimated warrior. But, Oscar, okay. if you would so please. Um. <laughs> I don't have enough divine smite for all these bitches. No, no, pick <laughs> up the heads and oh. put them in a sack. Maximus, might I add oh, that a lot of the heads, we shattered them. We can't just... I know, I'm saying... <laughs> Oh, no, we, I don't did, get we, what you're we did shatter the heads. Yeah. Did we shatter all the heads? Not all the heads, but there's a good arrow in that one. I this is a Actually, theory I'm testing. I'm once I'll send. We 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 saw she she saw the ones and the mage. I smashed the mage's head into pieces. I know, but what happens if the head is gone? All right, you you can collect 4 out of the 7 heads. Thank you. One knight uh. and 3 guards. The night one is still inlaid with tar, right? Yes. Let's and the others are, like, they have yep. tar in them and stuff. Well, mm. this, I suppose the simple solution here is to not tra retrace our steps. Yeah. You don't have to go find them. Okay, Where thank you, Minimus, for coming out. Mm. Well, is there anyone out there? Uh, not anymore, no. Okay, on let's that, go. On that note, we should retrace our steps and go the other way. I think you just said we shouldn't <laughs> retrace our steps. There are no other exits to this room, Maximus. There's one right here. That court. That's to the courtyard. That door that he's looking out is to the courtyard, and then you have the door that's going back in the hallway up to the, up the stairs. Which way do you want to go? Wait, the other way? There's no other op There's no other options? There's two ways. The way to the courtyard, and the way back to the hallway upstairs. Oh, the way to the hallway had no other had no other entr nope. entrances? Nope. It, here's the stairs. Here's the hallway. Oh, well. There's the courtyard. It's the same exact position as the other one on the other side. Perhaps, probably, it's, oh, probably perhaps it's best well. if we go out and look for another route that we haven't taken. Well then, I suppose that, yes, uh, there is a door, there is a door near, there is another door near, near here, I believe. There yeah. are two doors that you've not ventured to, they are in the two south corners. One that the skeletons did go into, one that the skeletons did not go into. Let's yes. go to the one they didn't go into. Yeah, the, the less attention we have, the less that'll be animated. Unless, unless you think that perhaps they could lead us to something. They're probably tracking us. But they didn't go into the door we went through. They went in, yes they did, they went into the library, right? You said they went they to the south door. They came from the library. They came from the library. They went to the south door. The other, the other one we haven't explored. They're leading us somewhere, let's follow them. Alright, time, mm. time, time for some... Stealth time! Make, make some makeshift tra tracking. Wait! Yeah, I guess, but Oscar isn't very stealthy. Then you'll stay behind. <laughs> I... Oh... I don't think that's a good idea. Behind never, never split us. Them. Okay, okay. I, so I, you guys I, I, I just... are heading out into the courtyard. Yeah. Yes, and we are going to... We're going to follow the skeletons down the stairwell. Uh... Damn. <laughs> yes, we're gonna follow...
follow them down the stairwell. As a matter of fact. Uh, <laughs> Minimus, could you go see where they went? Let's make it. That's a good time to stop. <laughs>